All right, hello, hello. Hey, everyone. This is going to be our first European uh, online dogfights. Preferably, I would have liked to see this game be uh, offline. But hey ho, we can't always have what we want, and especially with all the stuff going on internationally. Um, it's a mess right now. So um, yeah, we have to make do and do what we can. Hello, everybody in chat. Um, don't worry, it's not going to be just me. I'm just making sure that everything in the background is all working okay. Our tournament brackets are up. I didn't set up the auto bot, but I am paying attention to chat. So there is a final bracket. So, um, good evening. Uh, it's a bit weird being on commentary for a bit. Anyway, I'm going to be joined by the resident expert because as much as I like to talk about this game, I'm actually not ex too knowledgeable on it. So you'll be hearing a lot of ignorance from me for the rest of the um, for the uh, for the evening. But the person that's going to be covering me is going to be fantastic. So let me introduce you to Arissa. Hello, Arissa. We are live. Hello, hi everyone. Uh, yeah, this unfortunately I could I could not get my partner tag for this tournament, but uh, Rayo reached out to ask me to do commentary. I'm very happy to do it. Hope I'll be able to um, <laughs> keep things interesting. People who are more uh, knowledgeable about the series as well. Yeah, there's I've got a massive uh, black hole in my knowledge of this game. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, you'll be definitely be covering for me <laughs> on, on this one. So, um, but it's excellent to have you here. And the thing is, is that at the end of the day, there is a lot of the, um, the lot of the game itself. It, there's so much to the game that I'm not aware, of and I'm very easy. To, uh, it's very easy to, for me to say, actually, yeah, this is. Um, uh, I definitely need someone that definitely knows what they're talking about mm -hmm. on it as no, well. It's, it's all good. I, under, I, I understand. I, I totally get it. It's all good. Um, I'm just happy I was able to participate in some way, even if I couldn't get my partner ready for this one. Nah, that's true. I'm glad to have you here. Right, um, let us get us started. We've got everyone sitting on Discord waiting uh, for me to uh, waiting uh, to get started. I am going to let's get this going. I'm going to call my first two matches. Um, for the matches on stream, I'm going to have uh, Greg's. I'm going to have Greg's uh, 2x uh, and go get him. Uh, go get him, champ. And I'm going to have one and a half chimps uh, and simping for uh, Marida uh, on stream as the first set of matches. So. Um, and then the other two will play off stream. I'm just going to give. Uh, I'm just going to put that in. So. Uh, just for the record, the the stage is currently on random. So yeah, I so definitely <laughs> need to do that. Sorry, just just as a just so we don't accidentally start a match in, in the wrong stage. All right. Uh, do do do. Side 7 is the only stage available. Oh! Actually. <sighs> you can just post the room in the ID. Uh, yep, that is true. I am just going to change. Actually, no, it's not even live yet. Uh, remove. I was about to say, man, I can't show the, the stream ID on stream but I just suddenly realised that thing is not up yet. E J T L A. I really like the room ID feature to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Cause it, yeah it's a great addition. It means I don't have to manually invite everybody which is yeah. really good. The, 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 one of the things that actually surprised me the most is that apparently people complained that the, the first implementation the IDs were too long and they actually did shorten it. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly kind of shocked at how much they've been paying attention to feedback for. Yeah, no, definitely. Time. Although it is a little strange, you have to actually input the hyphen if there's a hyphen. Yeah, that that's pretty, b b pretty much of a bizarre one to me.
All right, let me get my players this and let me change this scene. So we have a currently is the empty room. <laughs> yeah, the team names are actually pretty wild. <laughs> So we're going to, uh, Xerox is a very good, very good Toby's three player. Um, I, I don't know what kind of team composition, uh, the team is going to run. Uh, I know that Iridian plays, uh, Ex uh, Excelia. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Excelia and Tenet, because he was talking to me about this on Wednesday, so it makes yeah. sense. So it's a fairly solid team. Yeah. Looks like no, they're exactly. running, looks, it looks like Xerox is going to be running a double 2.5. A team with treasures, which I, I I've seen them run different team comps um, at times, but this is this has also been one they ran before. Um, it usually tends to actually I don't know if I should I suppose I shouldn't be saying anything before the match actually starts, just in case Ready and enjoy are tuned in. I don't want to give them any extra info, so <laughs> I'll just I'll, 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 I'll comment on what I think their match strategy is going to be once the actual match starts. But yeah, they're all queued up now, so I have to. I've actually used spectator just to be just to be like quite clear. Like, do I just view things automatically, or how do I make sure I'm just viewing what's going on? Oh, make sure you join the t uh, make sure you join the actual lobby itself because I know you're in the lobby. But if yeah, there we go, and then you'll automatically be shoved into spectator mode with me once it starts. Okay, sure. So it's all good. I'm just making yeah. sure that I've got my teams correct. So I shouldn't sit, or I should sit. So oh, you should sit. Definitely sit. Okay. All right. Let me see if my overlay can have uh, can handle punctuation. Uh, and let's see if it has. Yes, it did. Awesome. All right. Cool. Let me get the... Stream... Off-stream matches. And start now. We'll be... Passing in... Okay, Joey's just got a call, so he'll be a second. That's two for everything but winners, losers, and grand finals. I swear I put down the challenge. Alright, so Dreadwave. So that's the other second match that's going to be on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we haven't got, we haven't got Ganondorf and... Oh, that's that's fine. They they don't have to join in straight away. Um, the good thing about spectator mode is that once um, the matches start and we get ready, it locks the room up so no one can join halfway. Gotcha. So it's a really useful function. Um, do 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 do. And the thing is, is that I'm able to set what matches go on, so I don't, we don't have to worry about people playing when they're not supposed to. Um, all right, let me just adjust my stream chat real quick. My challenge is way too big. All right, do, 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 do. We're just waiting for, we are just waiting for J Joey. Joey. Yeah, Joey to uh, get his call and then we'll be ready to go. Uh, so the format, it'll be first to two. Um, it'll be first to two and uh, losers can change units and burst type. Winners can change burst type um, if they feel like. Yes. Oh yeah, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in. It's uh, This is be the first online Gundam tournament that we've actually ever done. We've actually been capable of doing that anyone could actually watch. So... <laughs> 
So, so there's a lot. If there's a lot of experimental stuff, so please excuse us if it takes a bit of time to get some stuff going. Yeah. But the offline matches have uh, one of the offline matches have just started. So yeah, for sure. Like shoutouts to Danger Time somehow managing to run a tournament for this game before all these features were added. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of amazing actually. They actually took advantage of that, the PlayStation 4's uh, OS settings, being able to stream yeah. another person's console is just mad. Yeah. <sighs> That's... And the thing is, is, that means that everyone that can beats have to have a good internet as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty wild. Just need to wait for... Joey's phone call. No. Of all times, like... Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me check to see if everyone's... Um, remember list. Cool, yeah, so there's... Yeah, we have 10 people in here, that makes sense. So, if no one else is going to be spectating, then I will close the room off, actually. Huh. Did it? Cool. Interesting. It just auto -added, added everybody in. Nice. Mm. Um, um, let me double check everyone's team is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. Sumo Lord Dreadwave together. Move that there. There we go. Cool. Wait, this spec they went all out with the spectator mode and how this room works. So, yeah. I just someone in chat saying, where's the Reddit thread complaining 20s are being wired only? Well. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, if you want to run a wireless allowing tournament, you, you're free to run that yourself. That is, it is it's pretty grim. Play, playing, playing this game on wireless is actually pretty grim. Um, right, what we can do is that if if uh, they need a bit more time, if Joey needs a bit more time, then we can swap it so we can have the other two teams play instead. Oh, nope, he's ready. There we go. Okay. As soon as I said it. <laughs> Sod's Law. Um, team A and Team B. Side 7, everything's on. Okay. Nah, it, it, it's, it's fine. Yeah, so we have... I, 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 I'm, I'm just... I've not actually done this before, so this is like slightly new for me, so forgive me if I have to ask answer a question or anything. Just starting battle shortly. Nah, yeah, so basically what I've done is that I've... Uh, when the match starts, okay. it, sends, it sends them to character gotcha. select first. Gotcha, okay. So Let's it, see. We, okay, so we got... Sorry, I'll, I'll actually do some things there, sorry. So we have Tourney... And Excelia, which is a normal 3000, 2500 kind of cost comp. And we have the double 2500 cost comp from uh, Xerox and Treasurance. Now, uh, the main reason that this tends to get, I think Xerox tends to run this kind of composition mm. is because he really likes, um, he really likes like, getting the most out of Togi's 3's uh, shooting burst. Like, probably one of the most powerful shooting bursts in the game. This suit does have other drawbacks because it's very technical. Mm. and quite difficult to actually just play neutral. In fact, he, he probably loses neutral on average, but his bursts are so powerful that he can tend to, you know, make up the gap, if, if not more. So, anyway, right now we've already had Treasurance, like, isolate Excelia, it looks like. Yeah, I see. If he really put some pressure on Radiant Ooh, to make it... Garab, really nice Garab by Radian. Even though he hit his partner, he got both people. It's a lot of damage. Okay, here's the first burst. Oh, and oh wait! Wow! Great, great! Joy, Joy countered it. Like that, that Zerok is very good at bursting, so I'm surprised to see that. Like, you yeah, he. I did not even. Nice. Did he? He didn't even get to activate his burst, did he? Because I didn't see the activation go off. No, 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 no. He, 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 he did use it. He just, it just did. He just died in it. He didn't get any burst. Yeah, he was out of burst. That's unfortunate. So this, this is this is very this is pretty big advantage right now for for Joey and Ridian. I, I don't I don't remember their team name. I'm sorry. Um, it, the go get him, champ. Go get him, champ. Team. Okay. Uh, he, 
Flip burst? Is he just retreating with it? He, okay, he's just retreating. He's he just wants to play slow. Mm. Not sure about that. I, I I I don't really agree with that choice, but like. I think I think it puts him in a bit of a weird place because the thing is is that. Even though uh, Xerox has died, his teammate is relatively healthy, and then they've just taken down. Yeah, and they have to ki they have to kill him twice. This is the other thing about running a two thousand five hundred front. Mm. He can die twice without losing the game, unlike a three thousand. Yeah, they're just they're diving really hard into Ridian now because if Ridian dies, he'll be an overcost. And it'll be pretty easy to go for the kill. Okay, we got another flip. Can Ridian survive? This yeah, he, he's uh, they've, they've sort of fallen back now, and he's really gone yeah. further behind now. I think, oh, I just realized Ridian's using S first. Interesting. Usually yeah, that's weird. Huh. Was that an accident? Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, he just died in burst, so he's not going to get another burst. So this is do or die moment, basically. Although. Yeah, oh, he's dead! Yeah, he got yeah, oh, he just, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you take your eyes off gold frame for one sec, and then she'll just Mirage Colloid in there. Yeah. So that was that was, that was, that was pretty good, for, though, like the, the counter on the first burst, but. Um, Ridian unfortunately just got caught out a little bit, and you know, and if you die in burst, you don't get any when you come back, and that means there was no way he was going to be able to get away from any anybody really. Yeah, it was. Well, that was uh, for a first match. That was hella exciting. It's hard to keep up with the action, actually. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. I could just do do it again. Yeah, I feel that that um, whilst Joey did a good job on at the start of the match, mm. uh, the the his burst usage didn't he didn't really get a lot done in his burst. Like that's like probably like a really key thing to look for when you play this game is like how much people are using their using the burst to actually get damage because bursts are what like really swing the game in terms of like giving you a distinct advantage over people. And Joey's Joey like did extend burst um, out of. Uh, to, to like not take more damage rather than using it to you know secure damage. Mm. So let's see if he does anything different. Okay, they've already cornered. They've already got them against the wall. This is very bad actually. Yeah. Ridian has to I think they need to just pivot to the left slightly. And the fact is, oh, nice cover by um okay. Joey there. Inter yeah, intercept. Okay, they've both got their combos on their target though. They've got a double knockdown. This is very. This is. They're still kind of in the middle of the buildings and everything. Mm. Ridian needs to like back off. Okay, Ridian's managed to. Like relocate himself. Yeah, he so, he managed to just snipe uh, Zero yeah. out of the air. Yeah, he just got both. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's getting pinned again. Needs to retreat. Needs to back off. Yeah. He he needs to I could definitely see. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's this thing. Is there's so much to cover at the moment. It's yeah. like we're going to be interrupting ourselves yeah. a lot. So, <laughs> so don't worry about it too much. Oh, nice. Okay. Did he just see that? He interrupted the Garibee yeah. with with yeah. chain. Yeah. yeah that, like he. Yeah. That was, but he's still gonna take a lot of damage here. That's, oh no, he burst right at the end of the combo, unfortunately. That's like the least of the whole one. Good interrupt with the hammer. Okay, Ridian. Bursted. And he's really, oh, he's and he's down as well. Head. Yeah, he's down as well. This is looking this is looking pretty grim. He's not gonna get another burst again. Mm. Getting two getting two bursts as a 2.5k back player is very important. Unfortunately, because if you don't, then you end up in these very awkward situations. Yeah, and it's basically Joey's gonna have to start um carrying hard and Ridian's yeah. almost down as well. Yeah, this, this, this is looking very, very grim because like the instant another burst comes out, Ridian's probably dead. Yeah, he... no, it's just so... true. He shields himself to try and, try and uh, delay the inevitable. Yeah. Yeah, here's the burst. Match is probably pretty much over at this point, I think. Oh, yeah. he got clipped. Yep. Oof, that was tough. Yeah, that was a good performance in the first match. With I think the, the double Garibee was like a huge damage swing. That was like basically like around about 300 to 400 damage swing mm. for their team favor, and that made a big difference. But the stability in first thing is really really hard for the second match. That was a that was a great match though. Just it, I think it's the perfect way to start off because you, you know exactly what you're getting mm -hmm. for the you know exactly what you're getting for the first round. But that was act that was actual GGs. Let me adjust the do the scores. So, uh, Greg's Greg's versus two uh, X takes it through. And why is challenge really slow? Let me give this. Oops. Oh, that, they've already done it already. Awesome. I'm about to do it. Right. The next match is one and a half chimps versus simping for uh, Marida. Is going to be our next match. 
So they, I don't know too many about these teams. Do you have a rundown on on these two teams? Okay, well, New Zero is like an incredibly aggressive Xenon player. I, I almost exclusively see them play Xenon. Um, so, I mean, obvious with, with their team comp, it's obviously he's fronting, but um, he has he 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 goes in hard. Um, Sigma and Dreadwave, like I think Sigma is Sigma. Us I usually see him play front, so I'm in I'm interested to see the Dreadwave's playing Destiny. So he'll be oh, fronting. Oh, um, S Sigma actually being a former former Revolution winner actually. Oh really? Yeah. Like, on what game? Uh, Gundam versus. Oh, I see. Cool. So he won. He was teamed with Saboteur at the time to uh, to win. Oh, so. I, I see. Gotcha. gotcha. So. Well, I, I'm I'm not like super familiar with with them because because I I've technically been out of the loop for for like versus games to an extent for uh like for most of Gundam versus I only really started getting back into the game. The, the series, oh like... no, my bad. I've got, 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 got no Sigma's team came. Uh, Sigma's team came uh, second. My bad. Okay. Uh, okay. It was a very long time ago, and there's been so many revos since then. I'm sorry. D don't worry <laughs> about it. Don't worry about it. But yeah, like I'm. I think I think Sigma is pretty. pretty is, is a, definitely a strong player, though. I can see why he would reach second place in the racket. I think that basically this matchup just comes down to like how well can both Sigma and Dreadway defend themselves from. Um, who knew decides the target because whoever knew goes in on it. if he gets a hit he's do gonna do like 300 damage basically mm. and and but if they defend themselves and they can keep defending themselves well then they'll be they'll be i think they'll be able to do okay that's basically all it comes down to but, there, but this is another double 2500 so the vault so there's i expect new to go try to get to take three lives basically and I ex obviously the stability with bursting is going to be very important for especially for um Sigma. He's not using E burst. He's using F burst. We'll see how that, that works out. And he's, so, uh, you know, he's playing one of the units that actually have to start building up to their fi uh, their final form as well, which means that he's on a bit of a timer. So yeah. getting uh, getting pressured early is probably very detrimental to him as well. Yeah, he's 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 already up to form two though. Like like this is part of the reason why he plays so aggressively. Okay, he's got he's got dreadway pinned down. He's gonna do it. Okay, he got okay. Ooh, he's nice. Okay. Yeah, he's doing full damage combo. He might, I told you. He might be dead. Yeah, he's doing the full double block of damage. Told you, 300 damage combo. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 yeah if, you, if you if you if you don't if you don't defend yourself from this guy, then he's gonna he's gonna do a lot of damage. This suit does this suit does damage. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like the anti rising into the air. Oh, little, little oh, that was a yeah. burst. Yes, yeah, so sometimes it gets a, a bit laggy. If someone bursts and you're spectating, it, it sort of takes a minute for it to catch up. Okay. Dreadway defended himself from Lou that time with his burst. Unfortunately, he's almost dead again, so this is looking pretty bad. Oh, yeah, this is cagey. It's mm -hmm. Okay, I think Dreadwave is dead here at this point. This is going to be too yeah. difficult to avoid the formation. Yeah, he was stuck in the car. Yeah, like like I, basically that match just completely comes down to the fact that the, the formation kind of broke up mm. and and Dreadwave got comboed by Lou multiple times. Basically. Yeah. It, the thing is, is that it, it was just it just ended up becoming a bit of a brawl in the end, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there wasn't actually that much team play going on, which is which is what which is in favor of um, Zenon. Like, uh, New really wants a game like that to happen, basically, because uh, like you know he, he really wants to have a, just a one v one with mm. somebody because he you know he just does more damage, basically. Well, I mean, Destiny can do high damage combos, but like Zenon Zenon can does a lot and as you can see knows there knows how to knows how to do all the really high damage combos that is really that, that is very true and the thing is is yeah. that once it got to that it sort of was like right how do we stop this like how do you end up brawling in this situation it's like do you fall back or do you try and take the fight to them more it's, it's such a hard decision to make i think i think that this is the thing is like the, the, because xenon doesn't have that much range presence and destiny oh he swapped a bail he's going he's going wow, all he's in on the duel <laughs> like he's, he, he just wants to like okay 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 like uh screw screw running away because i was about to say the destiny is better at running away from xenon but he's picked bail because now he's just like screw it i'm just going to i'm going to sub through oh he's hit his partner by accident oh, he's, um, <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna uh, try to apply Bale Super Armor sub to just go straight through um, Zenon's melee offense. We'll see if, if New adapts to that. Or not. Yeah, he sort of got he sort of got hit quite early, so I think he sort of yeah, dented his momentum a little. Yeah. So I think he now has to find a way to not like. Oh, he's he's going in actually. Yeah, he's reach he's reaching for reaching for Banshee. Gets the hit. Zenon was chasing Sigma was chasing. Uh, sorry, not Sigma. I'm sorry, the name's 
Xenon was chasing Sigma that time. Mm. They got away, distracted them. Yes. Like, looks like Dread Whip kind of got out of position, and because he's Bale, he can't really shoot people off his partner very much. Yeah. And the thing is, is that because he's being. It feels like he's being double locked quite a lot, actually. Are they con are they concentrating on the bell to just get rid of him, or is Bell just doing a good job of like absorbing all the damage so he could come back at full health? I think that's that's generally generally the key. like I would say that like Bell Bell is getting double locked a lot, but they are trying to push to get Sigma into bad position. Sigma's also I realize just pick E burst to stable stabilize the game a bit more, which mm. is just good. Like he just used it to get out of a combo there. Unfortunately, oh he's just barely alive at seven HP. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Can he make this work? Um, this is this is this is still winnable because I believe that Sigma is gonna get a second E burst, which will mean that he's not like liable to die immediately. Unfortunately, he gets tagged by Banshee Boomerangs, so now and now Bale just got comboed again by New Zero, so this is looking pretty bad. I, th I think this might. No, there's there, there, there's too much HP to go through on the enemy team. I think at this point, like basically, New has to die, then uh, Cargo has to die like immediately. Yeah, I think so burst. as well. Oh, Bale's. Bails out a burst, but the, both the enemy bursts are being used though. Here's 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 Sigma's last burst. Okay, they got one kill. Maybe this they is can, maybe this they is can, possible. It's possible. This... It's, it's possible now, but like the burst, because like um, there's not going to get another. Okay. Well, it, it it was it was looking good. <laughs> it, it, it was it was possible because um, New wasn't going to get one more burst as Xenon. I believe he either died in burst. I, I just tapped him. It didn't look like he had burst. So if they could win the neutral, they could have won there, but. Banshee Boomerangs came out and sealed the deal. So, good performance from from New Zero and Xenon especially, but also Thick Cargo for maintaining HP and making sure the match didn't get too messy. Yeah, I, I think it was. You could see the, definitely the change of strategy in the when they went to the second game because in the end, instead of becoming an all-out brawl, it just ended up becoming like right, okay, we could do it that way but like let's sort of hold it back and maybe we could not get picked yeah, off they, that they, quickly yeah they did like I, I think i think the bail pick was actually more to discourage new from going in as hard and it sort of mm. worked but uh, but at the same time um i don't think i don't i don't think dreadwave really got much done with bail besides like that one hit he got on banshee it didn't look like he got a whole lot of other clean hits mm. for the most part unfortunately like um getting hits with bail takes time against like any, people who are better, who are like, keep, I mean, obviously, um, when you're getting started at the game, Bale is one of the like best suits to like just you know win exchanges with. With, but a lot of suits can kind of just like run away from him because he doesn't really have. He only has shots that dissipate, you know, kind of quickly. You know what I mean? Like he he doesn't have proper range tools. So if you just run away from him, um, it can be difficult for him to actually, uh, you know, have presence in a game. So it often takes a while for him like closing in to actually get hits. Yeah, it, and the thing is, is that you can see that at that point, uh, at that point, it was sort of imperative, sort of, when the pressure was on at that point, I think they did well to sort of keep it up, and I think towards the end of that game, it was a little, you could see that it was a little bit rough once the, uh, uh, once uh, New went down, because they were like, oh man, alright, if, uh, if Fick doesn't, uh, can't really play solid or makes a mistake they can easily lose this game yeah, but they clutched yeah. it out anyway so yeah, yeah. key rings are very powerful in clutch situations <laughs> yeah they're they're um they're massive yeah they're they're very good i had Radiant keeps beating me with those <laughs> yeah they're they ba banshee is kind of like a suit that hasn't really changed much over the years but she she's she's always had like all the tools necessary to to shine really because when she's in ntd mode um the suit really doesn't have any other weaknesses other than the fact that you can't be an NTD to all the time unless you're at low life. Mm. So if you make a mistake at low life, you lose it. But, you know, it's about it, really. Right, our next match is going to be... Um, it's going to be Greg's versus... Uh, Greg's versus 2X versus Raging Taurus. So this will be... Um, that will be our top uh, our winner semis. And uh, then our other winner semis will be simping for Meridia and exposing Frenchies. That sounds really bad, me saying that, but that's actually it's, the it's, team it's name. It's exposed. It's <laughs> exposed Frenchies. It's even worse. <laughs> I, don't, I feel bad because it's like, man, that sounds racist. But no, actually, that's the team name. 
And as far as I'm aware, it's two French. It's, it's actually two French guys, so you know. Yes, um, <laughs> Ganon, Ganon Durf, Um, he's a he's actually a semi notable Soul Calibur player. Mm. Um, so yeah, he's he's he, he he picked up this game. I've seen him around. Like I I I don't know if he's played any past entries, but I think he's new. Um, to my understanding, and he's been improving very fast. I was very I was told that he was new, and I was very impressed. Yeah, he no, he's okay. he's no, he's really good. Um. Let me just ask the teams if they're ready. Looks like Quant Yakshiki this time. Uh, and after that, we'll have the we'll have the other two teams in as well. Yeah. So one thing to remember is that once uh, I get ready, for the teams ready, no one else can come in until um, until I have opened the room back up. So it's a very good way to stop weird. Um, yeah. To, like if someone has a bad connection, they come in the middle of the match and it just lags out the room, and everyone sort of mm -hmm. just gets angry, sort of thing. So, gotcha. so yeah, it so it's it's a very useful function. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Everyone seems to be ready. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that like with the way this tournament is looking, um, like the critical thing for who can beat like these double two thousand five because double two thousand five hundred teams are like they. Because you technically get one, you, you technically can have the front player die twice, mm. and they can start to go in more. They tend to be more, uh, more. I, I don't want to say more volatile, but like they, they look to create more volatility in a match. Whereas like a three thousand, two thousand five hundred comp, or you know three thousand, two thousand comp, you're tending to look to a more stable play from the front player. Like the front player can't afford to be. Um, can't afford to waste their HP in the same way. Like you're playing a higher cost suit, your HP is more valuable because you die twice, the game's over. Okay. Oh, they're running a def okay. They're running a low cost. This is interesting. I wasn't expecting this. So he's picking Burga and their treasures is picking Impulse. I I didn't even realize they swapped. I guess we only just saw that just now. Okay. So without double two thousand five hundred, a lot of oh no, his part. Um, a lot of the same things kind of still apply though. This is still like very much like kind of looking for volatility. So we'll see how this works out. We want. We'll see if Treasures can actually die first. That's the ideal. Gets the most HP out of the boss oh. Okay, so Quant gets in with his first um, shield bits. It's a clean hit on Xerox. Xerox are quite low. Now really has to like back off and play very conservatively. We'll see if Treasures can like kill. Oh, they're both jumping at each other. Oh. Uh, it's, te really it's, turning, it's turning to a bit of spaghetti games at the moment, actually. Yeah, like, in this situation, like, Xerox is basically just focusing really, really hard on not dying because he doesn't want to overcost Spark. It's not as huge a deal as other cost comps, but, like, the HP efficiency is still important. So he's, like, trying to play as safe as he can, even though he's quite low. Um, Treasurance is getting hit a lot by his partner, unfortunately. Mm. The missile spread is very, very wide. Yeah, and the thing oh, is, is that that AOE effect is it's very easy. Wow, that Garabi, whoa, yeah. just avoided that was it. Very close. I think he, I think Treasure has just hit his partner with 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 the boomerangs, but Xerox is some. There's so much friendly fire going on in this game mm. for, for Treasure and Xerox team, but they've met somehow. Tre somehow Xerox is not dead. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Treasure is. Oh, part split shenanigans. Okay, he's dead. Okay, good play to Zero for not overcosting and managing to mm. keep the HP stable. Now he's finally died. Okay, so now in this situation, we're probably going to see Zero and Treasures kind of play like equally forward until Treasures is like probably about half HP, and then he should back off. Ah. Uh. Because Zero can die one more time, and that will get him a third burst more consistently. He's got a full burst right now, so he'll only have two bursts. But we'll see if he gets a hot dump. Oh, oh a wow! Yaku doesn't confirm the combo though. Okay. Oh, what's a drop? Oh, good block. Good block. Good block. Oh, he hit Quante, <laughs> even though he wasn't aiming at him. Quante just flew in the line of fire, unfortunately. Oh, oh Yaku is yeah. He's got the he's got the one more life thing, doesn't he? Yeah, he has a zombie mode, but okay, that that Garabi just could have tagged Zero. That could have like changed the game a lot, but mm. unfortunately it missed. And Yakshiki does not have a burst right now, and he's probably not. Actually, he might just barely get it in zombie mode. Like if he gets hit now, then he might be able to get it in zombie mode before oh. he dies. But it's still when he's in zombie mode, it's gonna you know. Oh, there. what movement! I don't think the Quanta could keep up with him. Oh, he can't interrupt in time. Oh, nice combo from Yaku. Nice, nice. Okay. They're not giving up. They're not giving yeah, up. Yeah, th this is match is gonna go to the wire. Oh, Yaku's defending himself very well. 
Hawk has a very powerful 6 feet. Okay. Zerok closed out on the enemy three times. Whoa. Oh. Well, that was that was that was good good from the Hyaka player. I'm sorry, I don't remember the names yet. I'm not familiar with it. It's, it's, it's fine, it's hard to keep up sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. The Hyaka player did a good job of surviving towards the end. Unfortunately, um his partner ended up dying as a result. Mm. But they did they, they were trying to force their way out on him and he didn't allow it. He he just countered them. And so, to be honest, towards the end there, it looked so close anyway. Yeah. Yeah, like, see, 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 the thing is, that situation, if Xerok had overcosted on his first life a bit, like, that situation would have been very different, because then Treasurance would just, would, would have, like, basically, like, only about 100 life left instead of 200 life left, mm. as he did at the end, right? So the, like, a huge part of that match came down to the fact that Xerok was man managed to not die for so long, even though he was at low HP. So, like, I have to, like, really stress that point, like, the HP efficiency on, tre on Xerox and Treasurance's team was, like, a big factor. Mm. Let's see. No, no, go, go for it. Like I'm, I'm taking a lot in just listening to you commentate. So don't worry, don't worry. Keep going for it, man. No, it's it's okay. So I'm gonna like try to I'm gonna try to watch the Yakshiki player a bit more this match. Oh, this connection has gone all sorts of weird. Oh, people will just stop moving. What's going yeah. on? Uh oh. I think someone's internet connection is is going wild. Let me ask in the Discord. Unfortunate. Oops. I capitalize that is makes it sound like I'm telling them off. It's it's zero ball with spikes, wait what? <laughs> uh well we have people shooting each other now, so I don't know what what your ruling is on this match. Um Do you know what? I'm gonna get them to replay it. So Okay then, well Alright, I'll just say some yeah, killing Conta twice would be the fastest way to end the match. Yeah. Treasurance is goofing off in the air with impulse shenanigans. He's gonna get overheat penalty. Yeah, he just got overheat. <laughs> yeah. If you spend too long in the air in this game with overheat, then you get called back to the ground. But if you want to restart, then the fastest way is just to tell him to kill Quan twice and then start the game again. Yeah. Was it just a spike and they all just stopped moving? Like, uh, I think so. I think they were having a couple of spikes in the previous game. I see. We didn't see it on our end, but I see. I know. I saw some of it on, on my end. So... <laughs> Someone in the chat's like, French Wi-Fi feels bad, man. And I'm just like... Nobody's on Wi-Fi. <laughs> we, we, have, we, have, we have the thing telling us who's on Wi-Fi. Like this is honestly, this is the best part about the Wi-Fi indicator is that no, like it's like no, I'm that you don't have to like people can't just accuse you of being on Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah. The connection gets slightly. Oh, there was another spike. Yeah. Um. The thing is, is that yeah, it's just fine. Just get them to kill each other quickly so that they can go back to lobby. Yeah. So yeah, that was weird. I saw some of the spikes at the start myself, so and I was wondering what that was. So. Oh, by the way, like I've not been watching the stream, but like, have you been using like the the full view thing? Maybe sometimes if you're having trouble. With the I game? was probably gonna mess around with it a little bit, actually. Yeah. It's pretty good. If you, if you're not sure who to look at, then that's, it's probably best to do mm. the overall. I, I do notice is that once you uh, have all four people in it, the frame rate drops to thirty. Yeah. I, no, 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 I don't. I, I mean, like the the, the I, I don't mean the 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 four people at once. I mean like the top down view of like, the map. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope this one goes better. Yeah. Um, so there's... We'll see what's going on around here. Uh, Netplay tournament issues, unfortunately. Yeah. Because um, the thing is, is that it can't even be anyone's connection in particular, which makes it awkward. Yeah. Like, it could just yeah. be some interference in the network somewhere else yeah. down the line. And like, well, well, I mean... I mean, if anybody here is 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 right now, unfortunately, like, the writing, writing from various parts of Europe to France is not very good. Or vice versa, depending on how you look yeah. at it. Yeah, I don't. Know, I think this game's a peer-to-peer -peer connection as well, so I don't think it's even like probably possibly server-related. Mm -hmm. So it's just strange. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, right, right, restarting. Yeah, right. Four, four, five, five is. Uh, it's gonna just uh, go leave and come back. Yeah, I, I suppose if I'm if I want to fill the air a bit more on the on the last match and analysis a bit, like the I'm I'm honestly a little bit surprised. I've never actually seen uh, Zerok use a like a like 
a 1500 comp, but I guess I suppose if his partner really likes playing 2500, it mm. makes sense. Um, they, it has similar kinds of concepts to the to the 2500 2500 comp in that you you know you're you're because you're you're double low cost, but you, you technically have slightly more life going for you, and mm. that can that that helps to like more stably get potentially uh, more bursts. Because like whenever you're playing like a lower cost comp, generally bursts are like the like the big deciding factor. Because like in a straight up one v one, like the, a three thousand suit should just beat like you know other suits basically. Like because they just have more boost, they have more tools and all that kind of stuff. But so, um, it, but it can be difficult to like make perfect use of that. You know, like as a as a as a player, it can be difficult to like make sure that you're consistently winning because you should technically consistently win a lot of these exchanges. Mm. What's the sort of what's the so if you're if you're running a fifteen hundred cost unit, what if what how many times do you expect it to actually die in that set? Okay so so with a two thousand five hundred partner you, you let your you try to let your two thousand five hundred die first, then you die, and then both of you kind of like Ha maintain HP together, and then you then you will die one more time. So you would die twice as a one thousand five hundred. You can die twice because you have like you have just a sliver of HP left over, and that's usually enough to get you a half burst. It might get your partner a half burst as well. This is more easier to do with a two thousand cost, but then you obviously have a weaker partner. So like there's you you get the two thousand one thousand five hundred cost is more stable than the two thousand five hundred one thousand five hundred, but it's it's also like you know less power in it. That's you know it's pretty pretty intuitive. Sense. Well, there, so the, there, there is, there you go, guys. An education to how composition yeah. works in Gundam, actually. Could, yeah, the, could write a PhD on that. <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's really just all about ma making sure that both of you, like, no matter what the cost composition is, you kind of want both players to maintain the same amount of HP, and that by same amount, you have to factor in their other lives, basically. So, mm. um, like for example, with Yakshiki and. Quanta. Like, Quanta basically has, like, double the HP Hyakushiki does, because mm. Quanta has, like, 620, and he can he gets a full life when he respawns, but Hyaku won't get a full life. Ah, I see. See, see you know what I mean? That, so Hyaku should only really go in after Quanta's died at least once, because then their HP is close to each one. Okay, well, that... we have Quanta. Okay. Yeah, no, I was about to say, that makes sense for <laughs> so carry, carry on. No, 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 okay, just have Quanta diving in, getting a couple of early hits. Yeah, Quanta, he sort of... I feel like Quant is one of those units where he's happy to brawl for the oh, most yeah, part. For sure. for sure, but Treasure is staying inside Sword Pack, and Sword Pack has pretty good melee and boomerang, so it's not actually that favorable for Quant to get to get too close. Like Quanta has reasonably powerful shooting. Oh, nice combo from Hyaku on Oh, I, I, oh it's spiking again. It's definitely spiking, I'm, I'm seeing it now. Okay. Oh, it looks like Xerox got denied his burst. Yeah, he, he bursted too late, so now he died in burst. And he's not getting out of it. So he might, be, it might, he might actually only get, he might not get um, three path bursts, which is a pretty bad thing for this cost composition. Mm. You're really looking to get um, at least three bursts on at least one player, either the two, you know, either the high cost suit or the low cost suit. So we'll have to see how this goes. Okay, Xerox going in. He's gonna, um, I think Xerox pushing in a little bit hard, because uh, Treasure still has lots of HP left. So he needs to back out a bit. Looks like he's he's disengaging. Yeah, there's always I think there's always so, a, there's always a small spike when the burst is activated, because mm -hmm. uh, the game is sort of trying to send to everyone. Oh, actually, there's yeah. a burst activation going on. But the thing is, is that us as spectators sometimes we don't see bursts if someone activates. Gotcha. Well, Xerox very low and like they know that and they're gonna be trying to push in on it. But he's got a full burst, so if he gets hit once, he's still gonna be okay. Okay, now he can't afford to take like any extra hits. He's probably gonna have to burst. Oh, everybody's bursting! It's, it's oh. the classic. Universe is classic. Everybody's bursting. Oh, okay. The quantum manages to get the kill on treasures with his burst. That Xerox was too focused on defending himself, but couldn't interrupt. That. It, it's, it's you see that a lot in like Japanese arcade play. You like see one person activate, then like everybody activates, well, and you're, like. Well, the reason yeah, the reason that happens is because um, like burst is like the best tool for closing the game, and then the only tool that reliably denies people from closing the game on you with burst is burst. So you, you you'll see a lot of people hold burst to like the last end of the match to try to like either win the game or not die, basically. I think it should make sense as well, and because some yeah. characters unlock so many tools after burst as well. <laughs> it's kind of like right, my best defensive option here is to activate and to possibly wait out their burst and you in usually in the given that situation mm -hmm. what you can do is that right 
if I use my burst to get out of oh he's changed back to Torki's three. Yeah, I think I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm not. I'm not sure why they were running this in the first. They weren't running this in the first place because I, 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 it didn't really look like they were getting a whole lot done with that call. But I guess I shouldn't. Like, I'm not trying to criticize. I'm sorry if I said the third call. But yeah, I think Xerox told me three is is very good. So we'll see how this works out. Cool man. But yeah, no, as I was saying before, is that a lot of people when the bursts are sort of act when your burst is active and you use it to basically just get away from your opponent sometimes by them extending their burst you usually have some left over towards yeah. the end to usually punish yeah, you, you, you burst it second as well that's, yeah. that's basically what you mean exactly yeah. okay treasurance has taken a lot of damage but Tolgis hasn't taken much so this is this is okay Yakshiki is really a really good job of like cutting and intercepting for a partner treasurance is getting the intercepts when Kondo tries to dive though so they, oh, he misses his Garabi that's gonna be huge uh, it, it's okay it's okay he's like he's, he's doing fine he's not taking any damage like HP is more important than like almost anything else in terms of resources. Mm. So it's, it's not, it's, they're doing fine. Like, let's see if Quanta can. Oh no, Quanta! Okay, Quanta gets a hit. Treasures does a good burst so he doesn't die. Yeah, because the thing like, is, can, can you actually? Oh wow, that Garibu does him. Can you? Okay. Can you actually interrupt um, Quanta when he's like when he does that uh, attack? Because is that his best attack? Um. No, Quanta just has a. Uh, Quanta does quantize during his burst attack, which, which means you can't interrupt him. Okay, nice counter melee combo from Zero. Now he's at half HP. He's got a burst. We'll see. I think they might want to kill Hyaka before they pop the burst, though. They're in a very good spot. If they can kill Hyakushiki before he has to pop burst, okay, he's popping burst just to kill him. It's fine. Yeah. Just get nah, that makes sense, yeah. Right now, it might be difficult to actually close the game, though. Treasurance might have to catch him to do it. Well, the, the thing is, is that they have to catch him first, and I think they're just going to double lock him, it seems. Yeah, yeah, they are. It makes sense. Okay, he's just EE he -E bursted, but he EE bursted a little bit too early. So he's in zombie mode now. Partner's still got a lot of life. <sighs> Quanta's. They've left Quanta on full health. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah Quanta, Quanta, like, kind of got out of position and didn't hit his partner very well towards the end of that match. Um, we can actually be that part. If, if Yakshiki had flip bursted when he got hit by Treasures, though, then that match could have been quite different. Mm. Um, because then he wouldn't be stuck in zombie mode and be stuck in such an awkward position. Well, overall, GG's. It, it took a while yeah. to get there, but it was GG's. Okay. Good stuff. Let me go call out uh, my go call out the other teams. We need exposed Frenchies to join the room. Uh. Search by ID. I believe that Ganondorf and I forget his partner's name, uh, Zuf or something like that. Um, they they run another. They run a tradition. I'm I'm interested to see if anybody who's running a quote unquote like meta team comp in you know 3,000 plus like 2,000 or 2,500 is is actually going to like win a game so far because we I guess we saw one game one in that last set, but you know, win a set rather. Because mm. it seems like all the, it's the non-meta comps that are winning in this tournament so far. Yeah, and the thing is, is that, do you know what, it's, it'll be interesting because we haven't seen, um, it'll be interesting to see something like, I think it's probably the most notorious unit and the biggest elephant in the room is probably Reborns and we haven't seen anyone pick him up. Yeah, I, I think, um, in EU, in EU, there's not a lot of people who seem to play like a lot of the meta stuff. To be honest, like from what I'm aware of, like the the ones that do at least haven't shown up to this tournament. Like I, the the most meta suit I get, I see get picked quite frequently is usually Full Saber. Like that's I was a little surprised to not see like um, on Dreadwave Sigma's team, like because I think both of those players do play Full Saber. Oh, okay. Um, and he, He's and he's you know he's he's a pretty. Cool <laughs> so someone in the chat just said uh, uh, the uh, Kajar just said yeah we have lots of bail though. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite true. Um, but yeah, no, it's the, the thing is, is that even looking up at some of the reasons why some of the units are top tier, it's interesting to see that certain regions have certain preferences. Well, I, I think the thing is that... Um, how, sh how should I put this? Um, at, at, at the, I don't want to say like at this level, but what I, what I really mean to say is that um, until... 
everybody kind of is consistently bursting at the right timing, right? Mm. I do think actually that slightly off comp, off, I don't say off meta, but like um, compositions that more stably get more bursts, such as these, you know, combinations of non 3000 suits. Because to get, to get three bursts, in, as a 3000 requires you to perform quite well basically like you have to burst like literally exactly when you get it you have to not get hit during your burst consistently you have to not die in burst and you have to like perform like you know well overall and if you can do that you tend to have like a, a you you will if you're already doing that like you're probably in a good spot whereas it's much easier to consistently get three bursts as you know these more off comps because you get an extra death and a death provides burst to both players on the team like when when your partner goes down you get a bit of burst and obviously the person who dies gets burst and that tends to add like a lot of um that, te that tends to make it more consistent for getting three bursts and bur because bursts are like one of the most swingy i wish i would say swingy but like they're the things that can like net you damage um the most consistently basically in this game or just win you the game and or stop you from losing the game really they're the most powerful element of this game managing burst correctly is like incredibly important so that tends to that that would give like these kinds of compositions like a slight edge I think until like people could consistently, um, you know, defend themselves and make sure the game gets dragged out and maybe even get three bursts on a on a on a three thousand suit. Do you understand what I'm what I mean? Like in, mm. until you get to that point, like the meta composition and the meta suits don't aren't as powerful. Basically, okay. you need to be able to, you need to be able to survive and make sure that you can get the value. Basically. Yeah, no, that make, does make a lot of sense because at that point, I think at that point, knowing system mechanics will out, always outdo someone picking a, a top tier unit yeah but basically burst burst is like any suit in burst is like basically s tier to well not any suit but like if you burst your suit basically becomes s tier right mm. is, is, that's that's a good way to look at it basically you know so i've never actually you, i've never actually thought about it that way actually that's a pretty interesting way to look at it because it's like the fact is that the burst gives you so many options. Yeah, exactly. And you, you, you are overpowering. Mm. When you're and then also, what I tend to forget is that there's so many units in the game that gas has access to so many extra tools in burst as well. Mm -hmm. So and yeah, in supers as well. Yeah. Supers, don't forget. And the thing is, on top of that, there are certain units that have some sort of install or power and stuff. Yeah. And um. Uh, let me just everyone. I was expecting to see build strike from Ganon, but I haven't played with him for a while, so freaking Gunner Zaku, it's fine. Gunner Zaku should have a I don't want to say easy time, but like Gunner Zaku probably has an easier time defending herself <laughs> from Zenon. So this is a probably potentially a counter pick, but I don't know. And Bale like Bale should win in a flat out 1v1 against Zenon for mm. the reasons why Dreadway picked it earlier, because his sub has like a super armor melee attack. So if if new doesn't bait it out first then he kind of can't win a melee exchange um but we'll see how we'll see how it works out for them i'm just they, i'm just wondering the guys the, the french guys that they will be going to character select uh, just before the match starts mm -hmm. so yeah cuz i know that throws us a couple of people yeah i think i've used it before yeah, yeah. Like, it, it basically emulates the arcade experience basically <laughs> I, I hope I just I hope to see like a, a a slower more stable game this map but or the, we'll we'll see if Ganon and Zeus can like stop Nu from like turning the game into you know huge huge damage scrambles. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully they hopefully it allows them to. Um, ho hey, yeah, hopefully it's not a scramble because the thing is they really benefited in the scramble last time. Yeah, exactly. So. Like that's what I mean. Like they're 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 two thousand two thousand five hundred, and they're probably aiming for uh, Zenon to die, uh, to die twice to get more bursts. So to to deal with that effectively, um, they need to be stable and keep their HP high, because they're probably you're probably gonna get hit when that the opponent bursts. You get what you get what I mean. Like you mm. the. the the more bursts that you expect your opponent to have, the more you have to conserve your HP, and the more you really can't afford to take damage in the neutral. And the thing so. is, because burst is such an important, dying with burst is probably the single-handedly the worst thing in this game. Yeah, pretty. It, it, it basically is, especially as a back, like as a back suit, you've kind of lost the game if you die in burst for the most part. Um, like, okay, let's 
see if Ganon can land up any Garrows. Ganozaku, very long range, kind of wants to just throw on range. Oh, diving straight in. Okay, good cut from, uh, from Banshee. Uh, I prefer calling them by the suit names. No, that's fine. I think calling them by the suit names makes a lot more sense because I know them a lot more by the suit names yeah. than the individual player. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to stick to that. <laughs> okay, getting kind of stuck on the building there, unfortunately. Okay, he steps out of the way of that. Looks like... Looks like Bale is crushing this 1v1 against Nero. Yeah, I noticed what he did is that he did a quick uh, camera swap just in the middle of his combo just to yeah. check to see if his teammate's okay yeah. if he needed to uh, swap targets real quick. That's good. Okay, Zeus in level 3 now though, so there's a... Oh, here's his burst, okay. He's... Oh, wow, he almost... Burst. That was a no, good interception, no. but the yeah. thing is he activated that burst and he almost got nothing out of it. Oh and no, but now he's, got, now he's gotten a lot of damage though. Like, th like, like there, that's like... Either, he just did like 300 damage like instantly. Like that was looking really good because of the... Oh no! Oh, he's dead. But no, that was looking really good because Zeus like used um, Bale sub like right at the right moment mm. to deal with first up Ganon's and overcast. Okay. I think if that play never happened, we'll be looking at a different match right now. Oh yeah, for sure. But like, like they, they got the one hit, but like he still had burst. Like you had to you had to get out of there. But it looks like he was able to get another hit. And now we have a burst from Banshee. Ganon's down. Can Ganon make something more of it? Or Bale did a full. Ganon still hasn't burst. Ganon really probably needs to think about yeah. using burst. Yeah, he, I think he's trying to save it. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Yeah, <gasps> we got, wow. We, we have uh, a kill on Banshee. Th no. This? Xenon has a burst, though, so this is very. This, like, basically, if they don't close the game on Banshee very quickly, then Xenon's probably going to win the game. Yeah. Xenon's going in with burst. Oh, uh, Helmbreaker misses. Doesn't matter. Oh, though. my goodness. Oh. The counter play. Oh, oh no. This is so dangerous. I don't know what's. Oh, oh no! Okay. That's okay. unlucky! Yeah, okay, so yeah, Bale overheated himself during that comp. I think that was actually quite unfortunate that Ganon shot um, Xenon out of Bale's combo because Bale looked like he was going for a. Um, like, I, I, I'm not sure what to call this te technically, but if you hit somebody with a grab type move mm. when it, it would end the combo, um, the, the character will your character will just fall straight to the ground very quickly basically like it's, it's been kind of like a, a, a way to land way to land quickly and smoothly and mm. i think that was the combo that zoof was going for and that would have made his landing much harder to punish um but ganon shot uh xenon out of the combo and that meant there wasn't anything to hit with the final like grab attack ah so i Zoof see. had a very very awkward landing as a result and he got punished because of it so i think that was like slick it was very unfortunate but i think ganon may have just accidentally killed his partner there by by shooting Zeno. Okay. Well, Ooh. the start of that match looked good, but... Yeah, I think that that match was... It, it just became an, a bit of a all-out brawl yeah. in some regards. But the thing is, is that I think if that... When... Uh, um, when New burst and he immediately took damage from the bail, if there was that interruption wasn't there, that match would have been very different. Yeah. And I think very we could different. basically... All of the aspects of that game... The second half of that game all revolved around that. Okay, okay, he tried to bait out. I saw Nude like trying to bait out the sub there, so he's he's definitely aware of what he needs to do with regards to this. So let's see if he baits it out again. Okay. If they're going for stick going for the brawl again. Oh, he's winning the one v one. Yeah. Killed Bale. Okay, he's not even like below half life. This is looking bad. Um, it's definitely not looking good for Frenchies right now. Ooh, yeah, that that is. Here comes here comes a Zen on burst probably. I'm looking, I'm expecting a burst any second. Is he gonna hold it? I mean, I'm uh, surprised if he. I mean, I guess he's kind of low. Okay, now he's not gonna burst because he's too low to do it. Yeah. Watch me for wrong. Watch me for wrong. Oh, okay, now, <laughs> he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it when he can take one extra hit and then he does it and dies in burst. Okay, so. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, like, making. Commentator's curse. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. See. Well, Banshee's very low right now, but Ganon has, is, hasn't bursted yet, and he's got enough health to not die, but Bale, 300 HP. Okay, Bale's really low. Bale's he burst to get out. Oh, nice. Oh, oh no, no. he shot his partner. No. That could have been so much damage. That could have been so much damage. Oh. Ganon needs to like check his trigger finger when uh, playing. Did that uh, connect? That, that just hit, that just hit bait, like, let's kill his partner! I just killed his partner in the air by accident, I think. He oh, accidentally no. killed his partner. Oh. He hit all three people! He hit all three people with the giants! Oh my god, I, 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 can't, I just realized what happened right at the end. Like, oh my oh, god. what on earth is going on? I, I need to watch, I hope, I, do I get, I, I get replays of this. I need to, like, record that replay. That was, <laughs> that was actually crazy. So, yeah, like, z z 
Xenon just accidentally killed his partner who was in the middle of being comboed by Bale by by doing the giant sword attack that like hits like all the way to the top of the screen. <laughs> he hit all three people at once because he wasn't trying to do that. Like, he was just trying to hit Gunner. Oh my goodness. Oh uh, man, that is does that that is a team kill. That is a team kill KO actually. <laughs> that is friendly fire KO. You hate to see it happen. <laughs> you actually hate to see it happen. Uh, that was crazy. Okay. Um, looks like like Bale did it. I, I lost track of what was going on. Unfortunately, I'm not like super versed in spectating it. But looks like Bale was able to. So Bale was in the Bale was in the middle of a combo, yeah. and uh, Ganon were uh, the Zaku Gunner was standing under them. Mm -hmm. So oh, just la just landed right under them. It was it was like it was very it was interesting. Like because and that's why um, Zenon was going for the landing punish with the. With the chop down. I, mm. I, I don't know what that, that move is called. All I, I know is he yells chest during it. He, he, the thing is, is that when he did that attack, he was looking up. So he was aiming to interrupt the the bail, but he hit his teammate instead. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Um, but either way, that was really good performance from the bail in terms of. Because that, that game looked pretty dire, and then Gano kind of neutered the burst, kind of, you know, hurt his partner's burst prospects. Mm. But he did manage to get a lot of damage on the Banshee and NTD, which is good. Okay. Ooh. We had a full bail combo. That's not very. That's not easy to cut. And Banshee tried to cut it, but yeah, the thing Zaka is, took advantage. Zaka took advantage and just punished for the because because Banshee doesn't really have any high correction attacks in all of those, so it wasn't very possible for Banshee to get the The thing is, is that I think what it comes down to is that it comes down to. Oh wow! So, like G G Ganon, Ganon probably needs to like he keeps shooting when his partner is like because he's scared his partner's gonna get hit, right? Mm. But like he he should really not be shooting. When, like, it's melee suit versus melee, so you have to, you have to check to wait first. Because if your partner gets the hit, you just kind of wasted them making a great read or a great play, you know? Yeah. See, it worked at that point because. Ooh! But that, that was okay. That was okay because Bale was going for the other target, mm. right? So this game is, is looking. They're, they're dominating this match at least. Okay? Wow, the Garrow be the through the wall. Yeah. Oh. Well, we've got like three very good Garrows so far. The thing is, is that he used the wall for cover there to make sure that it um it disguised the startup of the move. Yeah, exactly. Very. Okay, he's getting up. Step, 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 shoot. Yeah, hard to get through. This that, smash is looking a, a bit of a rip at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is what this is. If they can keep the game, if you can keep the game stable versus versus New Xenon, you will probably win because, like, you know, he, he really likes going in. But oh, oh another Garabi. That was a triple. <laughs> what is with all the with all the hits going on? Yeah, this game's over. There's absolutely no way. Yeah, no that way was no very dominant. Yeah, that was that was an, a very very good performance from. Uh, French team. They kept the game stable and just denied Zenon um, trying to get in and make it chaotic at all. That's basically what I was looking for to happen um, in terms of anybody fighting that comp because um, the Zenon Banshee comp is definitely focused on just being explosive and causing chaos. And they've achieved it in a lot of games, but that time they were hard locked out. Yeah, that was a. Uh, the thing is, is that you. It's interesting that you use. Uh, that you said right during the start is that uh, Ganon really needs to be careful on uh, making sure that um, he doesn't hit his partner and stuff like that. And then as soon as it comes to the third game, he just nails every single Garabi mm -hmm. to towards it, and it's just and yeah, it, like it, yeah. it's like his brain sort of was like, right, okay, then we need to actually like uh, he was like right okay then i'm keep hitting my partner what do i need to change all right let's change the fact let's change it so that um i delay my shots just a little just give him a bit more time to make sure that the combo is clean and then i can attack however that garabi through the wall uh, by the buildings was absolutely mint because he completely disguised the fact that he was going for it because yeah, it, the opponent exactly, was in there yeah. Well, buildings are very, very useful for stuff like that because you know all, it's not, not, not not just because you, you you can't be seen, but like you can't be shot by the person anyway. Like even if, even if they know you're gonna do it, like they're they're like a single bullet isn't gonna penetrate the wall fast enough, right? But the but a, but the Garrow will kill the building really quickly. So it's it's a very it's a very good tactic. All right, simpy. I'm gonna play simping for Marida. And do do do. I'm gonna get them to play on stream with uh, uh, Zans. Play on stream. So. Since that is our other loser, so that we're actually finally moving into losers bracket now. Mm. So. 
Who's Zanskar? Zanskar, Zanskar, Zanskar. Zanskar. Zanskar, excuse me. Uh, that's no, Carla. No, that's Carla. That's Carla. Oh, Gundam lore. Oh, I do apologize. I forgot to, I forgot to retweet your announcement of going live. I, I, I did, I did share the link before. Nah, no, nah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Do do do. Right. Um, we are now just waiting for uh, Carlo and uh, his teammates in here as well. And chocolate for life. Hopefully, Carlo sees my message. I think someone says they'll be right back. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, the fact is that uh, with the with Gundam tournaments, because it's a four person, uh, four persons needed for a match, it's a lot, a lot more logistics than um than you think. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, for sure. You, like four four things have to go right at once instead of just two. Yeah, <laughs> makes a big has a big impact mm. um, someone said oh, to me oh carlos playing gadlab interesting I, I actually know about this suit i'm probably one of the only other people who actually know oh about this, this suit is so memey but it's really fun to yeah. watch yeah um i hope i wonder i don't i don't know what the what his partner plays so i don't, I don't know how this is going to work out but gadlab is a very strange suit because it's 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 kind of almost designed like a 1500 in terms that it's not really very capable of actually like looking after itself, and it and it has to and it because a lot of one thousand five hundreds their self defense is not great, and they but they t tend to make up for it by having like some ridiculously good like tool to abuse. Mm. You, you get what I mean? Like they they have something that gives them an edge to make up for their disadvantages, and um, I think the Gedla definitely fits into that category because its self defense is kind of meh, mm. and it's got very strange ability, but it has some very individually like kind of almost ridiculously over -power powerful tools for its cost like I've, um, I've seen it like i've seen it like float in the air for almost forever in some regards this yeah yeah you can you can actually kind of like you you can when when you activate it see i'm gonna have to explain this before we get into the match otherwise people because well it's, don't, it's, it's, I, don't, don't, don't worry i think we got time so yeah yeah like it's it's so when you use this charge shot um a it goes into um what is almost like a mobile armor mode but it's that has a timer on it instead of it just being based on your boost and so you can move around and aim and attack people freely mm. like for the whole duration of the of the mobile armor mode where it's just constantly moving around in a, in a with its wheel and it you know it, it has and it has shot guard to the left and right when it's doing when it's doing that it has like beam shields active on it and it can just like basically just drive around and the thing is this works in overheat because it's just time mode it's not it's not like you know a buff it's actually just you are in a different mode for a specific amount of time but the trick is that when you pop out of it um you can pop into its other charge mode which makes it hover in the air now that does require a boost to you know to, to stay in it but oh there we are uh, yeah, but that does require boost to stay in it. But you you can basically swap between them. Like you you, you try to you do the charged up uh, beam. Oh gosh, they're running double Gadlav. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you, you, use, you use the charged B move to like exit the the charged A mobile armor mode, and then you charge up to go into mobile armor mode again. And you can be constantly moving around whilst you're in overheat, and you don't actually have boost, but the mode lets you keep moving in overheat. That's basically the guess. That's really good. It's it, it's it's difficult to use a. a it's difficult to use appropriately um it's it's if you can use it well the this the suit is like you know it's creeping into possibly b plus tier on the tier list but like uh it's i'm not sure i agree with this double this double get lab team though because the problem with get lab is that she needs um a partner who can protect her basically because of her lack of self-defense so if we're seeing you know we're seeing double get lab yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that Xenon is just going to isolate one of them and just kill kill them twice, whilst the other gets like locked out by Banshee. That's how I'm expecting this to go. 
at this point, anything's possible, you know? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, Gadlash self defense is really not good. Like, it, 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 I feel like, like, Xenon is just gonna close in and just win. Like, it, it, I'm not really sure how Gadlash was supposed to survive again. Because the thing is, Gadlash, like, has to jump in the air and just, you know, use a charge shot. We'll see if anybody actually does it, because it's relatively advanced to actually apply that, but, um, that's basically just it stalling and being like, please partner, help me. Like, mm. that's that's the strategy with you two when you're constantly in that mode. And so the only reason you stop attacking Gedlab is because it's just a pain in the ass to hit it. Yeah, so especially it. when it decides to take flight. Oh, double Garibu, at least one of them hits. Okay, well, so it doesn't look like either of these players are actually going to be using that, but they are trying to use the sub, which the sub is good at least. Retreating mm. with the sub is makes you relatively hard to hit. Um, it's hard to aim with it though. This is a strange move that makes you free fall when you use it, basically. Oh, I see. Way. It's kind of, is it, the free fall, is it reminiscent to the fast fall in Gundam, Vers in Gundam Versus? Like, but yeah, it's kind of like a boost dive, I guess. You, when you just use it, you just kind of just start falling. It's very weird, but yeah. Um, so we, we've already seen uh, Zenon get a pretty good combo on one character. And oh, oh Helmbreak at the nice other. Nice. nice. Yeah, nice call out. Okay. Oh, Gedlab gets a counter. And doesn't get punished for it. Okay, okay. This is actually more stable than I thought. And killed him in burst, I think. Okay. They're, they're actually doing pretty good. Yeah, I think th this is... This is the bit where the, their cost of their units... Oh, oh, oh why? Yeah, the, the air... The ant... The ant... <laughs> the air Garibu that causes an explosion. Okay. Okay, now Xenon... Xenon probably needs to like, slow down a bit. But yeah. I'm not sure if he's going to... They've fed a lot of HP to yeah. these Garibus. Yeah. And if they're not careful, they might just die really quickly here. Oh, partner saved him. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, it looks like I'm being... Okay, this is this could be huge. This could be huge. This could be huge. If he doesn't get the cut. Mm, no, Ooh. his partner shot him out of it. That could have been the game. That would have been the game. If Zeno just... Like, Ooh, I think... That... Oh, wow. That burst... I think... No, what a punish. That punish okay. was absolutely yeah, sick. Banshee, need, Banshee needs to stay the hell out of whatever's going on. Okay, we have... We have chocolate for life and... The enemy mode. Oh, and Carlo. Okay, they haven't got. Carlo needs to retreat really hard. Oh! oh my goodness! That was so tight. I saw that. I saw that from Carlo's perspective. That was a desperation, Garaby. And it if worked. He, yeah, it, if he had gotten shot by like Ed, you know, he could have easily gotten shot by somebody. The so. thing is, is that I was watching from the Banshee's perspective, and he was miles away. He, there was no way he could have interrupted that. That was, that was much more of a secure Garibee than it seemed that uh, than it first seemed that was that was actually kind of nutty uh -huh. well that, that that was a very good performance from Cho Cho chocolate like had some very good garros Car carlo kind of like exploded um on first life to Xenon, which is what i expected uh, mm. but chocolate chocolate maintained hp and because he maintained hp the match was much more even mm. than i was expecting it to be and however if banshee had not shot xenon out of that um when he F-bursted. Then the match would have been very different. Yeah, yeah it, would have been, it would have been over. He would have just killed Carla. Like, he literally, Carla had 91, 90 life. I think they picked the wrong target as well, in general. I thought it changed to rebake. That's, yeah, I that, think that's fine. Like, because he, he's looking to have a bit more presence at all times. Like, Banshee and rebake have very similar toolkits. Mm. But it's just that Banshee is, like, more powerful NTD than rebake is, but she's only an NTD some of the time, basically. Mm. That's the basic logic. Let's see how this goes. Okay, opening melee combo from Zenon. Yeah, it doesn't get doesn't get interrupted as well, so he took yeah, all the damage. He did, cut, he did a cut resistant combo for like 250 damage, it was good. And then he so. punishes the Garibi attempts as well. Yeah. He, he's definitely having Ooh. a much better round. I see, and he yeah. avoids the second Garibi uh, as well. And his Garibi missed the end. Yeah, oh, I don't know what hit him there. I think that was Rebake. Yeah, unfortunately, Rebake like, hit his partner. But now, now we have level 2 Zenon. He has 500 life to burn. And this is going much closer to what I expected. Like, both. Both Gad Lab players are struggling to deal with things. See, the thing is that Gushon is able to move up and like kind of very um, much more um, have much more presence at all times. Mm. He's been moving up and like occupying the other to get, make sure that Xenon gets a proper one v one because last game he got cut with by the by uh, partner Garibis a lot. Yeah, that's that is very true. And the, the thing is, is that he's playing a more stable because um, when they were playing Banshee before, just sort of just. Ate a lot of Garibis, like one after the yeah. other. Yeah, that's, it's because Banshee was trying to play, was trying to play more. Oh no! Oh he's getting dear. So, so like this, this sort of worked out at the start of the match, but then he lost too much life, so he had to back off. But so the Garibis. Ah, uh, this is not again. looking good. All of a sudden. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Like it, I, I, I think that um, 
the, the Gushan player seems to be pretty good at defending themselves, and Gushan mm. has very good self-defense. So th most of this is just going to come down to whether or not um, Xenon can get like a kill on. I think he shouldn't be. I think he shouldn't be beelining the chocolate too hard right now because like either way he's going to have to kill like a, a, a full life two thousand cost right. Like, yeah. At this point. Okay. Yep, that's it. Oh no no no! I I I, I lost track of health. No, I was completely <laughs> wrong. No, he was he made the complete there. I I do apologize. I actually lost track of health. I thought there was still like an extra life at that point, but no. No, nah, there was a there wasn't a lost life. But the thing is, is that if the rebate went down. Uh, in that situation, they could have forced this. Uh, they could have forced it where they could have collapsed onto rebake when he respawned, mm -hmm. and if mm -hmm. he got tagged by one two, one Garibu after that, would have been instant death. So it, it, it would have been bad, but still, like I I didn't realize that was the win condition. If, if, if because it's a win condition, I think it was worth pushing for mm. because he could, um, in, in that sense. Uh, but I genuinely thought that that they had at least an extra life left. But so I do apologize for not keeping track of the. Ah, that it happens. Like when you've got to keep track of four different units as well as the health, the co overall cost of a team, it's it, it becomes a bit of a hot scramble. Yeah. Please yeah. excuse the pun. Yeah, like uh, this, is also, this is also why in a lot of tournaments they kind of just stick to watching one perspective in in Japan because it's much easier to keep an I idea of what's going on in mm. the game if you just watch one person. Because <laughs> when you're jumping around perspective, you can lose track. Okay, so. Yeah, I think that worked out pretty well for the Gushan pick just because it enabled um, Xenon to get 1v1s much more consistently. So let's see if we can kind of repeat the strategy. They've got them cornered. Uh, Pushing him with the shot. Yeah, and he goes for a melee combo and he was completely unpunished because... Uh, yeah. Gushan was kidding the partner at the time. Yeah. Yeah, they're very, they, they've caught on to their strategy now and they're starting to take advantage of it. Yeah, the ba like the, the the early game it worked out because the, the first game it kind of worked out. They were just basically Gary. Well, that was death. a super clean kill. That might be death. But he, no, he sa saved him from. Okay, we got an effort. That is Shot that color. was Conf didn't confirm. Didn't confirm though. Ah, getting Gary punished. That. Oh, okay. No, I got I got I got the wrong uh, I got the wrong um. Sorry, I yeah, because they're both the same unit, so I got confused. I was like, he just burst, but he just died. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, he, he did a slightly suboptimal combo. Didn't kill. It's fine. So they're, they're basically going to win it. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. That, that, okay, that, that, the, 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 the third game was exactly what I expected from the set overall. Mm. And the adjustment from the adjustment from the Gushon player was like pretty much exactly on point. Like being able to have much more presence immediately instead of just waiting for NTD. Ended up securing things for his partner to just dominate as a result. Yeah, so, uh, so very good, very good adjustment from Kawara. Yeah, the rebate trace there was definitely important, just because the thing is, is that he could apply that pressure from further away, so he didn't get caught by like Garibis from like trying to save his partner, which is basically the reason why they lost the first uh, game in the first place. Pretty is that, much, yeah. that was, he was like right. He's getting Garibid, he's getting, my teammate's getting hit right, I need to do something about it. Then he ends up getting Garibid, then they both get Garibid together, and then all of a sudden, we've lost one 2500 unit, another one's on 70 health. He's like, right, I need to play more conservative, all of a sudden gets hit, and has no life, yeah, so at that point it gets rough. So, oof. Anyway, it is all good, because we are now moving on. Uh, we are down to our top four. So, and this will be a very, very interesting top four. We have Greg's uh, versus 2X um, and Exposed Frenchies in Winners. Mm -hmm. And we have Simping for Marida and One and a Half Chimps uh, in Losers. So, what we're going to do, we're going to play Winners Finals first. Uh, let me just call the guys in Discord. Frenchies. Yeah. Frenchies. This is probably the, the the highest level match, I think. Well, I don't, I don't want to say the highest level match, but prob this is this is um, based on what happened before with um, Ganondorf's team. Um, I think this will give uh, the most potential for like a really drawn out game. Hmm. From basically, no, basically. I, I agree. If if the first week, if especially if Ganon can hold the performance that he had in the last game of the, of the last set he played, I think it's going to be a, a super competitive match. Mm -hmm. I think I think the thing is that um, a lot of what 
Tolgi's 3 is really good at is he gets close to people and then he just kind of like super like his super vernier is basically like a better boost dash um it's just faster and harder to hit him out of it and everything um and he will kind of just like fly up to you and super vernier around and spam uh spam his like high power um beam rifle well it's not beam rifle it's like a beam cannon it does even more damage than normal um but Against Bale, I'm not sure like if that actually works out that well. He has a whip to defend himself from most melee attacks, but I feel like Bale can get around it or bait it. So I, it might force Xerox to play in a more conservative fashion if he's against the Bale. I have not, I, I, I don't play Bale, and uh, so I'm not really sure how this matchup is going to work. But I think a lot will depend on how Xerox adjusts to fighting Bale. Assuming Zoof is going to play Bale, I saw since he played it last match. Uh, I think, we'll yeah, Zoof played Bale. I think he, who, what did he play something else the first time around? I can't remember what it was. No, he, we, have, we only saw one game from him so far, or more one match for, one no, set from him so far. No, in that set, he played, he didn't play Bale first time round. I'm trying to remember what he played. No, 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 he did, he did. It was the, it was, it was Dreadwave who swapped a bit. Who swapped oh, a bit okay, cool. Um, so yeah, like, uh, I brain basically, fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's fine. So I think, I think if Ganon, if Ganon just like doesn't get got by, um, by Treasurance's doing um, the Mirage Colloid Command Dash. And I think that that's fairly easy for Gunner's active to Phantom. All she needs to do is just press main once and it will, you know, it will head her out of it. Mm. So um, it will then then be on like, okay, who can, who can win in the front exchange between Bale and Tall Geese? And I think Bale has the advantage just because Tall Geese can't really close in to try to force the issue quite as hard, but we'll see. It, We'll see how this goes. Right, we have all of our teammates ready. I have my overlays ready, so that's a good start. Um, we are on winners finals. Huh? Wait, hold on a minute. Just making sure. To refresh that real quick. Did I save it? There we go. Right. So we're going to have uh, Greg's versus uh, 2x keep your dignity versus exposed Frenchies. This is a first to three set, so it'll be interesting to see just how much it develops over the develops over the whole set. Yeah. Yeah, like as long as everybody, as long because I. I Basically, just as long as Ganon's team keeps it stable, they've got the advantage. Like that, this is why two thousand. This is why three thousand plus um, two thousand or two thousand five hundred is like the meta comp. Because if you can keep the game stable, you have the advantage. Mm. So we'll just have to see how this goes. How this works out. Okay. So I'm watching it from Lula's perspective, Gonzaku. I think I think that's a good shot actually. Watching it from um, watching it yeah, from. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get a good view of everything that can go on. Because he plays quite far back as well. He really does yeah. let his bail go in, saying that his bail is currently on the you, floor. You, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you don't you don't have to move up that much with the suit because her garo is good in green lock. Like you mm. can aim it manually, so you don't need to be like within red lock to be able to hit it consistently. Yeah, it looks like like Zerok is making the appropriate adjustment, is not going in as hard, and he's yeah. just said he's baiting the bail to come to him, which is exactly what he should be doing. Okay, so he's 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 playing like very smart. It'd be but, interesting. It'd be interesting to see like. Um, if the bail just plays slightly further back to see if the gold frame will move forward. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 this is kind of a game of chicken to an extent. Like, who's going to go in first? Because G Gundam is kind of like this game where it's much easier to defend yourself on average than it is to actually hit people. So, um, if you're fo uh, that is if you're entirely focused on it. But yeah, like the... So, looks like the bail player has back off of it because he took damage. So now they're kind of like, you know... He's just poking in a little bit and then just backing off. He's not mm. really going for anything. Uh, I think he overcommitted on that one. Yeah. He went yeah. for... I thought he went for his A plus B and just got hit. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's, re he's trying to reach in a little bit more. I yeah. Guess we haven't really gotten any clean hits at all on the enemy team. Like, we got oh, good block! No, he hit his partner again! Ganon hit his partner. Uh, you got to be so careful about that. To be fair, I think in that situation, Bell was more likely to get hit, so... The invincibility oh, of the all oh, oh, he's coming in. Treasure for the dive. Treasure for the dive. <gasps> he's whiffs. He whiffs. He, he whiffs. He oh, the rainbow step war. The rainbow step war. Okay, he won the rainbow step war, but he got shot by by the other person, unfortunately. So un he died in burst. The unlucky thing of the unlucky thing about that is that um, the uh, the bail 
he was literally inches away from him and when he ran out of boost. Yes. Uh, and he's melee whiffed and he was forced to activate burst to keep his boost going. Gotcha. Oh, just dive with this burst, okay. Ganon manages to not die in burst, that's good, so that means he'll have another burst when he gets low. Nice, nice punish. You, really important key punish there. Like Xerox stalled it out and was like, you know, you know, come at me. I've got, I've got whip. You're not gonna get through this. So he just waited and let his partner punish. It was good. Uh, they good. restabilized. So, yeah. yeah. This is actually looking pretty good now, I think, because like now they get the hit on. Yep. Treasurance. Tolgis is gonna go for burst to just get the cut. Okay, that's that's important. Wow, he gets, he gets hit. hit. He gets hit in burst. He gets hit in burst. He's not gonna get a third burst now. This is very important. But Z Bale is low now, so Bale has to kind of like just let. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, that is very unlucky. Oh, oh. oh this is going to be a nail biter. I, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is this is this. Is, okay, Ganon is desperately trying to get trying to get burst. Now. He has to move up really hard. Bale has to do absolutely nothing, not do anything at all. He okay, used. Oh wow, nice, nice he hit catch. His he hit his partner though. Okay, but he's not dead. He's okay. So Ganon still doesn't have burst. This is dangerous. I really don't know if Bale should be going in right now. Like, okay, Ganon's now now Ganon's got burst. Oh, oh no! no! He his belly. His melee he tried to go for like sticking up on that hit. Uh, at some point, the first timing was just not quite there for for Ganon's team. Like, get, it's very when a two thousand cost is being ignored, it can be quite difficult for them to like force the issue. And he needs he needed to take damage to get his burst mm. to try to close the. Game. And he was trying so hard to do it, but Bale kind of like got a little bit too eager. And jumped in. Should have just. The thing is, I actually genuinely think if he didn't play for burst there, I actually genuinely think he might have been able to just pick them off actually. Mm. Because the thing is, is that the burst there was really important. The but him getting burst there was really important, and the thing is, they were anticipating them him moving forward to do that. Mm -hmm. So if they just delay, if they delayed it just a little bit longer, because at that point, if he stepped back a bit, it just the moment that he, uh, the moment that uh, the bail got into a melee combo, which he got hit by by um by gold frame. Even if he cut that and hit his teammate, he still would have had enough health to live and he might have put Goldframe into critical mm. health. Yeah, that, uh, th 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 the problem is that it's very difficult for Gunner to actually catch people if they just start diving her partner, basically, like, without mm. burst. So that, that's that's kind of why they just have to, like, literally just throw away HP and get burst. Ah, like, oh, I see. Well, could have blocked that, unfortunately didn't. But I'm just sorry, I'm just watching. Nice, no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Bale gets... Oh, okay. nice Good interruption. Cut Good cut from Treasons. And we don't get a punish at all from Ganon, so like he gets away with that cut. That was good. Okay, Bale gets another clean hit. This is good. He dropped Treasons. it. He dropped it early to go help his teammate. That's good. Good call though. Looks like. Yeah. 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 Great call. Just turns around, gets another combo. Treasures isn't able to interrupt. Ganon doesn't get a punish, but the Zoop is doing very well right now. Okay, Ganon's taking a lot of damage. Probably needs to like back out and be very careful. He doesn't get died. He's mm. gonna get died by S first. If he has to block in the air or something. He's gonna die right now. Oh, he nice block. block. But block? he ah okay. uh, he gets pressured though. Yeah, he's got a burst. He might have to burst just not to not not to die here. Okay, he's gonna burst just to not to die. <gasps> okay, nice nice burst. Gets a, gets a lot of damage on Tolgis as a result. However, he is critically low and needs to literally just like not do anything until Bale is dead. Like he needs to like not exist because he wants to be. Yeah, yeah, Treasures is looking for the dive, and the Bale's there to interrupt, but there we got a burst. We have another burst. He's not getting out of this. He's getting hit. You can't not take that. Oh, oh what a save. Oh, he's, he's saved by his partner. This is absolutely huge. They're making... What a save. If he can just not die here, this is going to be gigantic. Like, absolutely huge if he doesn't die. Just hang in there a little bit longer, Ganon. He's got He'll 7 HP. 7 <laughs> HP. <laughs> They're both. They both really, really want this overcast. They need it. They need it. They no, okay. he got hit. It's, it's it's okay. They pushed. Like they they technically did so much damage. They can still win this. Like they did so much damage pushing for that. Or they took so much damage pushing for the overcast. They can still win. Okay, oh, that burst was absolutely necessary because he was dead. Yeah. Yeah, like this is what I'm talking about. Now, now Gunnar Zako still doesn't have burst, so she's having trouble like actually catching and punishing. She doesn't have enough ammo. You see, like this is the problem. Having his partner. Okay, Bill has his last burst. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. No, that, that was really good for Ganon to survive for so long, but mm. like overcosted Bill is in a very difficult situation, and Zerok and Zerok and uh, Treasurance. They knew that. They, 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 because they're playing a double low cost team, they have.
more health to throw away just diving and forcing the overcost. And by forcing the overcost, Bale becomes completely impotent. And then Gunner Zaka has so much difficulty if she doesn't have burst in making people look at her and moving up. She just runs out of ammo and can't do anything. Mm. So they, they understood the matchup and they did like the appropriate thing like like very cleanly, very smoothly. So good 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 play to Xerox Zero, team for like recognizing that. I should just probably stop saying Xerox team, but it's just like he's the first on the left, so I see his name first, sorry. My overlay seemed to have just like died momentarily. Give me a second. Uh, no, they, they Gallon's team could have won that, but you know it it, it was just they, they Zero like sorry Greg's I should, I should call them I don't know Greg's team ex kind of uh, it focused on the weaknesses of the cost comp of the cost composition. There is that you get the overcost on the two thousand suit, and it can be very difficult. This is this is why most of the best two thousand five hundred suits are like much better at moving up, like Blue Destiny and Barbados and mm. uh, and and. Exia and, and stuff like that. Like, if they do get overcosted, they don't they don't struggle quite as hard because Gunner Zaku struggles very hard to like have presence as a front if she overcosts. The thing is, it just made, it just shows how imperative like the overcost aspect is. Yeah. And the fact is that they were willing to sacrifice that much HP to get it is just shows yeah. how important it actually was. Yeah, ex exactly. Like cr critically important. Like the thing, like it, it was still winnable at that point because they'd taken so much damage trying to reach for it. But they, but Gunner was like just a tiny bit short of burst, and Bale decided to use, well, not decided to, was forced to use his burst, like to try to defend himself. But he was so low HP, he died anyway. I, I think he may have gotten killed out of his his super armor self, unfortunately. I wasn't watching from Gunner. I was still watching from Gunner, to see if she could get anything done. Because if Gunner had gotten burst, then things might have changed. Like Gun Gunner with burst would have, he, he, gosh, like just thinking back, like the fact that he didn't die to like repeated bursts from Zero was like so clutch like that that made the game so much closer than it would have been because he had just if he had just died to xerox burst like early on then the match would have been already over anyway but like he made it he made it last so long by surviving so that, that was really still really good play from both of them both for bale for like intercepting and saving his partner and for gunner for surviving as long as she did hmm. we have it seems we have like six points oh, yeah no it's, it, for some reason it seems like my overlays have just like died <laughs> oh, that's oh, unfortunate not really we, too do we have like we have like Sigma Dreadwave against. Oh no, it's uh, three out of five. They need still need to play their last game. Oh, it's three out of five. Okay, I thought you said best. I thought you said it was best of three still. But okay, winners, winners finals is. Ah, uh, okay. I see what I've done. My bad. So because Greg's name is really long, yeah. um, because it was really long, it broke my overlay. So for oh. some weird reason. Well, you can just shorten it. You can just shorten it. Okay, let's see. Let's see if they can try... Because they're very close to keeping the game stable. Like, if they can just hang on a little bit longer. Because if, if Bale had died first there... It would have been like, a different game. It, I, I think I think that Gano's team would have won. Like, I think that the French team would have, would have been in a very good position if Bale had just managed to die first there. But, like, you know, yeah, it changed a lot as a result. So, if, if no overcost and maintain that kind of game, you know, I think they'll win. Let's see. First hit. Diving into... Oh, nice counter from Mina Goldfriend. Really nice counter on the, on the bail. I, I, I forget, she has that move, actually. <laughs> I just saw it on the... Or just on the side of on of the yeah. screen, to be honest with you. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, nice block from Zero. I'm sorry, I'm watching Zero. Right no, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Zero, I saw that he did that block on the... the when he attempted to... Uh, where Ganon attempted to go for a cut yeah. there. Oh, this is, this is like, he's playing he's playing bait with Bale, but looks like Bale did not like even though he blocked Bale and Treasures went in, he didn't get he didn't uh, didn't get hit by Treasures. So we have this burst now, and he gets cut out of it immediately. Bale is this Bale player is doing very very good at like trying to deny him pushing for damage on the back because he knows he wants the overcost. He can smell it, but I don't think he's gonna get the overcost this game. Like Bale is so yeah, like, Bale Bale dies first. Okay, mm. so Ganon Ganon just has to like maintain like. Well, he has to move up when his partner gets down to like 300 times. Makes you wonder, is he going to save his burst until after he dies? We'll see. Looks like he is. Yeah, he, yeah, he does not get a trace in the matter, to be honest with you. Okay, good, good, good jump in by Treasurance to try to cut the bail combo. Oh, like, good block! I just saw the block from Treasurance there, and if he didn't get that block, he got the block on the bail enough so his teammate nice. was able to punish. Yeah. Okay, now they're, now they're definitely in a really good spot now because. Zuf used his last burst, he's not going to get another burst, and he's 
you know, he's only half life, and now they just have to play neut neutral basically, but the Z Rex team is gonna be able to get at least one more, if not two bursts. So they've got they've got the, the huge advantage at this point. Gunnarzaka needs to do a lot in burst right now, basically, to like win the game. Nice, uh, managed to just poke him out of the okay. shield. They're, they're, they're both low, so like, okay, but he has extend burst. This is basically all, oh, Luna super? Oh no, trash runs both. Sorry. I I'm sorry, I'm kind of like just constantly doing- Ah, this is fine. Like that was just all down to the all down to the burst there at the end. That is it failed last burst, and that was like a made a you know just made him like kind of vulnerable as a result. That is, um, but that was yeah. But it was you could see that it was the adaptation from both teams there. Yeah, like Gannon was playing more safe and def and succeeded in not overcosting, and Bale was playing a bit more aggressive on his first life to try to make sure he didn't get overcosted, but it ended up not working out super well because on the second life there was just a bunch of really good plays and blocks and you know baits from from greg's team they were they were able to deny the effectiveness of bale's burst on his second life mm. as a result and that kind of made it took any like this is kind of the problem if you if you burst on your second life as a 3000 and you burst early mm -hmm. and you take damage in it or your burst doesn't get a lot done and you're not going to get another half burst especially if your partner's died like before you burst um, on your second life, then, and you can't get your third half burst at the end, then, you know, you can, sometimes the situation can get very dicey towards the end of the game. Like, you end up having to rely 100% on your back to try to win the game, which is basically what happened there. Like, Gunner had to, like, basically kill both people in burst to win the game at that point. And at that point, it's really difficult to do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Gunner, Gunner's not great at closing the game out either. Like, it's more of a neutral orientated suit. Right, let's go. So we are going to do our next match is going to be. Doo -doo 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 -doo, where's my bracket? Because I can't remember if one's there. Simping for Marida and one and a half chimps. Yeah, looks like it's the same comp composition as before. Um, we'll have to see if Dreadwave like adjusts um, based on what happened in the earlier matches. Let them get going. Um, yeah, because like it'll be once again. It's just. The, for this match, it's going to be very important for Beale to maintain stability. Like the, the, they need to keep the game stable. Like I keep saying it, but like you know, if you can keep the game stable against these off meta comps, you'll do. You'll, you should win because mm. your suits are just like more powerful on average. They do more damage and all that. They have more boost. But if you can't keep the game stable and you get sucked into the brawl, then you know, all hell breaks loose, and then yeah. your setup breaks and that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I definitely hear that. This is there's a lot focusing on Dreadwave right now. Somebody watching. Okay, gets a hit. Treasures with some charges. Bait. You shouldn't. I'm sorry. I want these things. Yeah. It, the thing is, it makes you wonder: Is Bale gonna take uh, the Zenon out, or is the Zenon gonna take the Bale out? I think that's the yeah. biggest question in this match. Well, see, I expected him to like back off a bit, but I guess I guess not. Like, no, he gets the hit. Level three gonna be for Zenon. So, okay, no, he just does Oki. Okay, he just does Oki sub and Nu does not deal with it very well, so Nu is okay, Nu still gets to do at least one level three. Because like if he died in level two, that would be really bad. Mm. Um, because he, he then he would have only come back at level two and had to take more damage to get to level three again. Yeah. Basically. But he comes back at level three now, so okay, here we go. Good looking good for Sigma and Dreadwave right now. Especially because they got another clean hit. Xenon, Xenon still hasn't burst it. Xenon is probably only going to get two bursts this game. If, if assuming that. his partner doesn't die. Yeah. He might only get one at this point. He tries Good. to burst there to stay safe and he still took damage. Yeah. Well, he looks like he's getting a hit though, so that's yeah. not too bad. Oh, he didn't finish the combo. If he finished the combo, that could have been so different. He would have he would have overcosted he would have overcosted Bale if he finished that combo. This is all going to be all <gasps> the Gushan play at this point. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the overcost happened. The overcost happened. The overcost happened. No, no, Dreadwave has to do absolutely nothing, and Sigma has to like win the game. It is. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be too difficult for Sigma to win the game at this point because um, bursted Zeta is very strong. He's out. He's out of burst already. I think. Yeah. He's out of burst, but he's still got like one kill. So now he only has to get one more. Oh, oh wow! From the top rope. Bale's, Bale's still barely alive. How can Gushan not die? Basically, at this point. Okay, now now they're both in kill range. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. He protected his partner well. Okay, good jo good job from Sigma, recognizing mm. that he like this is the difference between the two thousand like and the two thousand five hundred thing. Like the the, the cause in this in this scenario, like Zeta was much more capable of just ramming his face into the opponent and being like, "No, you must look at me. You cannot just like go kill my partner." Mm. Like he, you just have more mobility. You have better tools. You have more ammo. You can spam more. Like just. It makes a big difference. I think that, like, this is, I kind of think Bale, Bale plus 2000 cost, if you're not playing, like, a really aggro 2000, is, like, not a very good idea for, for basically for that reason. Because if the overcost happens, Bale is impotent, and then the 2000, if you're, you know, if you're at weak at moving up, then, it, it, you know, the game can just, you can kind of just lose the game off that. But, but Sigma, like, adjusted m much better, and a 2500 in general can adjust much better to that kind of situation as a result. Yeah, he managed to really take advantage of that. I think the biggest worrying thing there is once the Xenon did catch the Bale there, there was a bit of, like, clenched teeth moment as yeah, in war. Yeah. He was really low, he was really low, yeah. But, like, if, if Xenon had bursted earlier or hadn't taken damage in his burst, he would have had, like, a third burst at that point or something. Mm. Or, like, um, or could have safely died to get a third or something like that. And that would have made a big difference as well. The burst, the burst usually made a big difference. Oh, he falls out. I've hit Thunder K kicked in very early there. Must have just clicked on a bad starter. I wasn't wow, that, that Bale hit confirmed. He was just a little bit worried that he didn't think the projectile would hit, so he, he didn't think his melee attack would hit, so he used <laughs> the projectile to combo into it. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Okay, he got to level 3 before he died, but he mm. did die, but he, at least he got to level 3 before he died. Yeah. This is looking good. This is looking good for a Looks like look, whatever happened before looked like turning nerves, because they've made it this far into the bracket now, and, you know, they've been doing much better. Okay, good burst. Uh, getting out of this situation. I think the burst was just to keep him safe, but um, Dreadway still gets the hit though. Nice combo. Oh, pushing really hard. For, I, I'm not sure about pushing so hard for that landing punch. Now he's got an overcost. But mm. Bale, does, Bale is like like reasonably healthy, so this is okay. This is okay. Oh, that was an interesting trade there. I think that trade just saved him from losing 250 of his health right there. Yeah. Oh, nice! This assist this catches him. Yeah. Okay. So what this looks like is the <gasps> dread, dread, yeah, nice. that what that match is over. Yeah. I, this is pretty much over at this point. Yeah. Yeah. That was. Yeah. That so interruption dread, there was was key. Yeah. No. Dreadwave and Sigma are like are 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 under. Okay. I'm gonna be blunt. I think a lot of the low cost comps are pushing for overcost like a lot mm. in this match, and that is a good thing to do. But but Sigma is like. Sigma and Dread are like have now like caught on to it, and they're like, okay, we're not gonna, you know, even if you do overcost us, like we're we're still gonna just deal we'll just, with it. Like, yeah, we, we'll we just bring the match to you anyway. So yeah, we're, yeah, we're not. Oh, I think they left early because like that, was that three games? No, it's first, first two. So that was okay. uh, loser bracket. Loser yeah, bracket. I'm sorry. our loser semis. We've got actually, I've not adjusted the results yet. Let me do that yeah. for the, our winners finals. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah Karen, what are you saying? You're just, just recognizing that these people, that these teams are pushing for the overcost really hard, and then just being like, "Fine, we'll just, we'll just adjust, and we're, we're just let Zeta go, gonna play front." And then that kind of like throws off the plan if, if Zeta isn't like, or if the back player is actually capable of just moving up and fronting, basically. Like it, it ends up like hurting the, the explosive strategy when they can still adjust and keep the game stable with. The, the back suit moving up to the front. You get what I mean? Like, mm. like they basically maintain stability even though, even though um, there were overcost situations twice. So it was really good adjustment, in particular from Sigma, for moving up and like maintaining, maintaining presence. And I think this will be our losers final. Just letting the guys know. <laughs> so, so someone in this school is like EU, the land of the bales. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's actually funny. And there's, I think there were like abs there were like zero bail players in the tournament like uh, that Brett was running the other day. There doesn't seem to be very many bail players in NA that at least show up for tournaments. But there's quite a lot of people picking bail in this one. Ah, oh dear. Let me let me. So we have two more games left. Just gonna double check. See if everyone's okay. If Sigma and Dreadwave like manage to maintain that kind of stability, they could. They, I think they could definitely beat uh, uh, Greg's team. They could definitely beat Team Greg with Xerox and Treasurance. Um, but 
obviously we've seen the capability for a stable game from Ganon and Zeus too. So like, really, th this tournament could go to any of these three teams at this point. I think it's it's actually looking it's looking pretty interesting because, you know. Yeah, I think with the exposed Frenchies, uh, they're sort of s adapting over it for each game that they play. Yeah. So you could see them slowly like getting the hang of certain things, and then. You've got one and a half chimps, so like really like right. We know how to play this game now, yeah. sort of yeah. thing. I think Zeta has an advantageous matchup against Gunner Zaku, um, so we'll see if like he pushes in to try to take advantage of it because mm. Zeta can fire three shots um, with like without having to boost repeatedly, so it can control Ooh. a lot of space. Okay, Zeta, Zeta's not pushing in too much for. He's focusing on Bale more in the Bale versus Bale Nur, so he's not pushing in for Gunner Zaku. So he's not pushing for overcost at any rate. Unlike the other, you know, the, like, I think what, all the other teams we have, I've been kind of like focusing, kind of pushing over. I think what inter was there. interesting about that inter that interaction there is that the bail player was just like, well, um, Zof was, uh, yeah, Zof was like, yeah, do you know what? I can go in and stuff like that. Um, he did lose the one v one temporarily when Dreadwave punished his incoming, but they seem to be pretty even at the moment. Mm. I well, say right that now it's looking like it's in favor of. Um, over. Yeah. Dreadway have his burst. Dreadway have his burst, and this is like a pivotal moment. Oh, he didn't burst on his first life. Okay, slightly bad. Kind of, kind of bad actually. Um, his partner is also kind of low. And Sigma, Sigma burst. burst. And this should kill. This should kill if he doesn't get interrupted. Okay. No, he gets interrupted. Yeah. So it is loads. They've Checking sort of, the game out is good. Yeah, yeah they've reverted back to neutral to make it sort of stabilized a little there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, this is perfect because like in this kind of situation, there's no need for for Zoof to actually go in unless they go for his partner. You can just let Gunner Zaka rain hell in neutral because Zeta can't move up to to shoot. Right? You get what I mean? Mm. He's so low. Um, and now Gunner's bursting, reaching with that kill. If he kills him in burst, the, the game is it's still a game. Okay, the game it's still a game. It's still a match. Ganon, Ganon unfortunately was not paying attention. He's died in burst, he will not get the burst again. So if they can, Ganondorf can die now, very reasonably. Zoof has a lot of HP though, and will have burst, so can't ignore him. Oh, the burst out of the combo, he's dead, he's dead. Dreadway's dead. Rip. Oh, oh no! he didn't do the optimal combo! He didn't do it, he would've, I, I promise you, he should've won HP. See, he had an OTG still. He had an OTG he, no, he, still. He, no, he did use his OTG there. His OTG no, 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 what I'm saying is that he, he the fact he didn't, he, the fact that he, could do an OTG at all means he didn't properly finish the combo. Oh, I see. Then he did an OTG anyway. So he's he's potentially thrown the game now. Like we'll, we'll see, but it, that that should have been a win if he just did like more, you know, just did one more hit in that combo before he knocked him to the ground. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, there we that, go. <laughs> that, that that last one was like that, just to make sure that if he was yeah. dying to stay dead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, that that was that that was that was very good from from Bale. G Ganon slightly slightly duffed up towards the end, but he didn't he didn't explode. And the Sigma and Dreadwave were kind of both too low to actually um, like just force it. Because when you have a lot of HP, one of the advantages is you can kind of just like beeline into like one person, mm -hmm. right? And then like even even if one person one person on your team gets hit. It's okay, right? Because you you still have both have so much HP that you can afford to take hits. Mm. That means you can afford to take more risks. But they didn't have enough HP to just dive into Ganon and win the game. Even though he could have potentially died in one combo, and he had no burst because he died in burst. So yeah, I think like Zoof looked like he had a made, like a reasonable advantage. Yeah, he did. Yeah. The, the thing is, is that he actually started from the back foot in that in that round, yeah. but he sort of brought it back. Um, yeah, and he managed to just basically not even pin down. He just was able to. Punish Dreadwave for any mistakes he made. Yeah. I, I think if Sig I think if Sigma had like like managed HP a bit better, then like Sigma could have just dived into Gunner Zaku and that could have like been a very different game. So let's, let's see if like Sigma tries to like Ooh, nice. take less damage. Than that. He managed to he managed to catch um, Zuf, just picking off a range, getting a quick knockdown. Bail zoning. I just noticed. Ooh. Dreadwa uh, Dreadwave is playing very close to his partner, yeah. so he, so he can so he can get his um so Sigma so could sort of play m interact more with the match. I think one yeah. of the issues that he had in the last game is that because Dreadwave, <laughs> wow, okay, that could have been very different if he didn't get that hit. Um, because Dreadwave played so high up last time, 
whenever he got hit, he couldn't basically he couldn't be saved by his partner. Oh, oh no! This is this is that was really unfortunate. Like the whole reason they were doing that strategy is basically so that Bale can just so, so the Dreadwave could interrupt Bale's um, Bale's combo. Like if it happened, right? Mm. But he he missed with his. Um, Command dash attack and then wasn't able to reach and get the punish. But this game is still looking okay. Oh no, another huge Garrow! Oh no, that was not a good extend burst. Like, the, 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 the whole Garrow had already done its damage and he did the extend burst. And it wasn't even a situation to, like, run away from because it was a long way. And he's there. died and with he's it. He's overcosted! Oh no! <laughs> he like, died with the burst as well. Yeah. The, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. No, no, it's looking very good for French team right now. Wow, he ran into that completely by accident, but it means that he's not overcosted. Was that a moment of genius or was he just unlucky? <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh no, who knows. Well, either way, um, Dreadwave is like one hit from dying. And Zoof has like another 700 HP to go through, so this is match is not ending anytime soon. Or rather, it's not en it's not ending in favor of Dreadwave team anytime soon. Oh. Ganazaku's missiles. First, first. Let's see if, if Zoof doesn't like overextend. No, Dreadwave is playing very safe. He knows what he has to do. Can, oh, can Gunnarzak get the cut? Gunnarzak has to get the cut. Okay, this might actually. This is this is winnable now. This is winnable now for for Dreadwave and Sigma. Like they pushed too hard to get that kill. He wasn't. He hadn't been overcosted yet. You know what I mean? Like mm. he hadn't actually died. So so now this is very very winnable. Is Zoof gets hit twice. <gasps> he, oh, he got oh, in. If he doesn't get the combo, he's dead. He doesn't get the combo, he's dead. Oh, he didn't get the. Okay. He didn't yeah, get the combo, he. It's fine. Yeah, Very the thing cool. is, is that he was scared to get interrupted yeah, yeah. there. It's fair. It's fair enough. Like one more hit will do it. One more hit will do it. <gasps> he misses. Wow! They pull it back. Wow, really? Yeah. Really, really nice. Really nice. Like, because that was looking so bad, but I think Zoof just got a little bit cocky and like pushed too hard to kill mm. Bale, and you know, and. You know, if, if you if you if you miss <sighs> if you miss if you miss, then you know Bale could punish you for like two fifty damage very easily, and that's exactly what happened. And suddenly the game swung around. So they they got a little greedy. They could have they should have just played they should have just played slow. They just should have played slow. But they got a little bit greedy. When you reach your hand into the cookie jar one too many times, <laughs> is one of the ways to put it. But yeah, um, everyone on that's on stream chat. I hope you guys are enjoying the action. This is. Um, the uh, how many tournaments has there been in Europe for online tournaments? I don't think, I think this is the first. Honestly, I don't think we've had any others. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying the action. Um, we're hoping to keep doing this on a on a consistent basis. Um, I'm learning a lot just here, see, seeing like Arista just analyze everything. So I'm happy to keep uh, to keep watching. To be honest with you. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully, Zoof this game recognizes him his mistake and will just play slower because I d actually do feel that the um, their neutral is a little bit better than because because in, in Gundam it's, it's kind of like fighting games to an extent where you know if you can just keep it in neutral then like quote unquote the better player wins mm. that, that's kind of like the law that's kind of like the usual logic basically the more the more scrambly and more frantic you make stuff the more the more chaotic it can get yeah I think what what it did there is that. What Dreadwave started to do is that, he, like, he started to basically turn the match not into neutral, and basically pressures uh, Zoof to making mistakes. Yeah. So he and then he punished him for it. At that point, they yeah. they they, yeah. they made the neutral completely irrelevant to make it yeah. harder for them oh, to actually. Huge bait. Oh. Huge bait. Like, bait. Yeah, that was a huge bait from Zoof. Like he just baited out. The, the the thing is that Bale, even though he's a melee suit, like he's he you know. He has cooldowns on a lot of his important abilities. Mm. So if you bait out the opponent's like stuff, then they're quite vulnerable. Uh, so he bait now, but now he got baited in return. So they're both even. This is a very very even match right now. Yeah, both of the both of the backs have got quite a bit of health to play with. So. Oh, he just hit his partner by accident, and then he got hit by Gunner as a result. I just saw that from like. Uh, <laughs> I got. I, I saw that from Zof's perspective, and I was yeah, like, same. "Wait, how did that happen?" <laughs> 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 We're gonna love funny friendly fire going on in these games. Okay, Gunner. Okay. Oh, okay. wow! Good burst. Good burst. Gets the kill. Now Sigma still hasn't bursted, so but so he has that going for him still. Dreadwave has. Dread, Dreadwave's almost got full burst himself, so yeah. it'll be see if it, how he takes advantage so of Zoof, it. Though. So does Zoof. Like I mean, I, I think keeping full burst is actually somewhat sensible in this match because 
like denying an, a bail, a big combo, just like this, is actually pretty important. And then reversing it. Yep. I and mean, then he's, he's he, does the exa he, does the, he does the exact same thing. And because exactly. he bursts second, he gets the punish of it, yeah, which exactly. means that there's a net gain. Oh wow, he's still going. Jeez. Yeah. He's doing the super. Oh wow, nice. Is yeah. that just a buy time? Or is that the highest no, damage just, combo? I, it's just, extra, just, just, just extra damage, just doing max damage. Ah, okay. I, I respect it. Like he wasn't gonna, he, he comboed him so high into the sky that he wasn't gonna get another another super combo. Oh, okay, damage. that makes sense. So, yeah. So this game is um, even. It, it's it's still very very even. This is like the closest it's been for a while. I would say that's slightly in favor of Zeus team just because as a 2000 suit, um, more life. Oh yeah, there's the kill. Okay. Very slightly in favor. Oh no! Oh, no! no! Dreadweave! Dreadweave! Dread that, that could have been huge. That could have been huge. Like. Uh, okay. Is, is it burst? Oh no! Oh no! Sigma just shot him out of the potential kill combo. This is why you have to be so careful when you play with like a melee suit. Like, and trust me, I make this mistake too. But I understand how critical it is. Oh, the oh, counter! No. The counter sub. This is getting so down to the wire. Like, a, like any. Oh, oh no! That was extremely close, though. Like very good, very good play from both teams. Like on that final match, they both were like enforcing neutral and staying very safe. But that that slight misplay from Sigma shooting his partner um, out of the combo that could have potentially killed um, Gutter's Daku. That I think that's what lost the game there, basically, because everything up to that point was so close. That was like the critical moment. Oh, it's so hard to keep track of what's going on sometimes. It's okay. I I, I struggle too. Like, heck, I I lost track of how many times people have died before. Like. <laughs> right. Okay. Currently, the exposed Frenchies are on match point. Hmm. They need only need one more. But this these matches are so cagey. I don't think it even matters at this point. Yeah, I I, I definitely think Dreadwave's team can can still win here. Hmm. Let's see. So, because their strategy would would was working. It, yeah, I think maybe they, they. I think Dreadwave just got caught in the scramble a little bit too many times. Okay, good, good, clean hit. Is he gonna get cut? No, nah, he, he doesn't. Get, he did oh, he did get cut. Oh, okay, managed to get him on the okay. second attempt then. It's, it's it's still he still did more damage than he took though. Like he took one twenty for for doing two fifty. Okay, this this hit on Zeta's big. Yeah, there's the there's the like the like the the grab attack. You know, knockdown I talked about. It's very hard to punish that landing because mm. he just goes flying. He just lands very quickly. Good reach from Dreadwave. And he, but this time he gets cut way earlier in the combo, so the damage. Oh, they both do wake up. So it's like double wake. That's like OP DP. Uh, that's like that's like that's like that's. Like, sorry, I have to think of the analogy. It's like doing somebody does FADC wake up DP in SF4, but the other person also did it as OP to try to beat their DP. That's <laughs> literally what just happened there. <laughs> oh dear. Well. The, the one we've got, oh, both bails are dead. Yeah, this is again very, very even match. This is yeah. incredibly even. Like the, the HP values on the backs are actually almost equal, like 431, 455. Like this is in intensely close. This is amazing. Oh, no! no oh! Dread Dreadway takes a Garrow from Ganon. This is this is gonna start. This is gonna start moving into the face of the game where the backs have to like pick up the pace mm. and start carrying the games. Dreadwave, oh, Dreadwave gets caught out. Dreadwave gets caught out, and he can't, he can't be saved by his partner because he's first. Is he gonna get the cut? He can't get the cut. He's gonna eat the full combo for like 250 damage, and now he's oh, and now Sigma spent so much boost trying to get around and get the. Yeah, this is this could. is in the, the exposed Frenchies have got. Oh, I've got the advantage here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice there. burst. There's the burst. That's it. That's that's gonna be game. I think. Oh no, he's got a burst. He's got a burst to get away from it. No, it's okay. He's got it. Garrett well, that was, yeah, Garabi wins uh, wins the match. I think that's okay, a so perfect uh, that's a perfect way for it to end. To be honest with you, yeah. no, that, that that was like really stable and really really even. But then like Dreadway just gets caught in position for one second, and Sigma's like, oh no, I need to cut this. But like Ganon was was right there with the burst, making it so that you couldn't ignore Gunner. Like that that was a critical moment to burst from from Ganon to ensure that his partner would get that full combo off and do the max damage, and that Sigma couldn't just you know. C couldn't just uh, cut him and end it fast and restabilize the match. Like, I I cause... got I gotta say though, like give it up to uh, Sigma and Dreadwave because they're our third place people. To be honest with you, yeah, they definitely played a really tough game. The thing is that match isn't easy. 
that match was not easy, and they they made the absolute most of it. They, they adjusted really well, like throughout the, the, the like me seeing like their adjustment to the new uh, the the new and the, 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 the Xenon team before um, the Merida team. Like their their adjustment there was really really good, and so I have to, yeah big props to that. And they slowed this game down a lot as well. And they could have definitely won this set. They could have mm. won this set. Just like just came down to those few critical moments. You know that's how you know it's a it's a really you know tight and close game when it's like these critical moments when the game and it's not just like oh well they kind of just like won. Yeah. Like. No, I agree. And the thing is, is now now we are going to go to our grand finals. So and uh, Greg's versus Two uh, X are actually now there are in winners bracket. So, so <laughs> get enough. Just put it in the put it in the Discord. So I guess we won the tournament, uh, and we're and we're now fighting the last boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we'll soon see. So let me just see if everyone's ready. But this is our last game. This tournament's only been two hours and fifteen minutes. Not too bad. At least we don't have to worry about stuff like button checks, I guess. Sapato, Sapato, please. <laughs> um, the, um, why is everyone all good? Right, I'm getting yeses, so... Uh, do -do -do -do. Right, this is a Finland versus a France match. So, Battle of the Mainland Europe. Sorry, I was checking my phone for something. Here we go. Ah, yeah, so okay. good. Okay, so... Whoa! Okay, we got a... Pen okay, we have Penelope from Treasure... Okay, I think Treasure is either... Either he's going to actually play front, or he's going to go for giving Xerox three lives. This is, like, the most serious team call. This is, this is the one I've seen them, like, use in, like, um, in, like, serious team... Team freeze. So let's see. I'm seeing, I've I don't know anything about Penelope, so you might have to educate me okay. what Penelope could okay, do. Okay, so basically, um, Penelope is a suit that kind of like lots of other suits. Like they start out weaker and then they power up, right? Mm. But what Penelope does, Penelope starts up and it's powered up mode. But when it takes damage, you see the little HP bar at the, at the bottom right, right? Yeah. When it takes damage, that goes down, and when that goes off, it goes into a weak mode for a while, and it has to wait before it can get its power up and move back again. Oh, and, I see. Like, the way this, this, the way this suits, like, general mechanics is that, basically, it just it just fire, farts out missiles when it does normal stuff. Like, it has an above-average, like, um, beam rifle, and it shoots missiles that have pretty good guidance when it's doing normal. Okay, it's good. The, the <gasps> nice! That was, a, yeah, that was okay. a nice interruption there. Okay, so it looks like Treasure is playing front. Okay, so now, now he's in weaker Odysseus mode. It's harder for him to be aggressive in this mode, but he's like diving straight in, which is like a little bit surprising. Usually you see people play like more conservatively when they, this happens because they have the, you know, they just don't have the same kind of power. Okay, good. He gets a punish on Bale at least for hitting his partner. Oh no, he bur he had to burst early. Like usually you want to burst in um, in the pack mode, in the good mode, but like mm. he had to burst in the... The weaker mode, because he needed the presence of that one. He needed to peel people off and make them look at him so his partner didn't die. Oh, he needs to cut here. Can he get it? No, he doesn't. No, it's okay. It's okay. They're, 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 they're in okay position. Zoof is very, very low, so like, this is not bad. But, okay, he's getting hit here, though. This is bad. Because if he gets knocked out of... Okay, he's at 11 HP, so he can still burst in good mode, at least. Um, it, he, it'll be a little tricky to get a third half burst, so I don't, I don't think he'll get it. So he might just choose to hold his burst. If he does, I would, I would, I would not criticize it. Yeah, he's gonna hold his burst though. Looks like. If he bursts, does he get his his, his good mode back? No, it, it reloads faster though. Like you see how it's reloading down on the bottom. Oh, the I see. But like he's probably just gonna hold it until he has to. Okay, he might have to use it now. No, he but gets the kill. Damn. Okay, kill. You just. Nice, he kills that. Just executed okay. him. Okay. 
Okay, okay, he's just waiting for Pat to come. He really wants to wait for Pat to come back for he has to burst. I think he might have to do it now anyway, but no, it looks like Zeron was able to defend himself with burst. Okay, he's still waiting, he's just waiting. Pack's up, okay. Is he gonna go in and burst? I, I feel like he might. Or is he just gonna wait out? Okay, he's, he's bursting with it, good, good, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, and Bale can't go, Bale can't get through all these missiles. Look at all the missiles that are on the screen. Look at all the Jeez. missiles he's peppering all over the place. This is a very powerful Damn. suit. Damn, Bale just got like, stopped in his room. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this Oof. is like a failed counter pick almost. Like the amount of extra crap you put on the screen makes it very difficult for a bail to get through. Because even if the beam rifle misses, the missiles will have it. You get what I mean? Like, it's... I props, to, props, to, props to Zayrock for like um, hanging on and defending himself very well against Bale. That was that ending was a was a bit grim. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's definitely like if going for Zero was the correct choice from Zeus because like trying to bust in a penalty is quite is can be quite difficult but Zero defended himself very well against Bale and thus they couldn't really get it because I was looking pretty good it was looking pretty good like but then Ganon died in burst and that's like you know again that's, that's like critical you can't die in burst as a back so it's, it's very, you have to be careful with that because if he if he had still had one more burst then you know they could have just afforded to wait out uh, Penelope's burst, I guess, mm. and then they would have still had a trump card left to try to win the game with. But because they didn't, you know, they had nothing. That was that was the last burst. What Bale did was the last burst of the game, and then it was completely neutered by Treasure and bursting on Penelope. Okay, gonna watch. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna wa uh, watch Gunnazaku for the opening bit, and I'll probably swap after uh, after more things happen. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. missiles. Interesting. Okay, yeah, he's he's pushing really hard into the. They're they're doing the thing again where they want to like overpass like the the bail, but like, okay, in this game they've they've completely swapped the strategy. It looks like yeah, Zayok is playing front instead. Huh. This is what I expected from the first game because Zero tends to play front, um, even though he's playing the lower cost suit. If it works for them, it works for them. To be fair. Yeah. Okay, Xerox had Xerox burst was like mostly nullified, didn't really do anything in it, and he took a lot of damage in it. Mm. So he's not gonna get a burst that quickly on his next life. He's down now. This is looking fairly decent for for Zeus team. Not an advantage, I would say, but it's looking decent. Um, depends on how well Treasures press up. Treasures is now without hack, uh, but Xerox protects his partner. So this this is going to be critical on whether he can exploit the fact that Penelope is now in the weaker Odysseus mode. If he can push in and punish and hit Treasures, or if he can hit Xerox when Treasures is like, you know, going to have less presence as a result, it'll be good. It doesn't look like they're going to get anything done. Looks like because tre Treasures pack is going to come back any second now. I think. Mm. Yeah, there's it's back now. Ah, oh, he completely misses. Is he going to get hit by that? Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, okay, N now it's looking kind of bad, because it looks like Treasures is going to play the long game and just give Xerox all the lives, and uh, I need to check the burst totals, but it doesn't... Oh, Xerox, like, like just super Varniers out of the way repeatedly whilst shooting Bale, so Bale's really, really low now. Gunner has to move up. Yeah, good block from... good block from... Oh, he kept firing in green! Kept firing! Yeah, that, that still has guidance when you fire chain cancel. Oh, I see. Yeah, he chain cancelled all of it, so it still had guidance. So he was able to kill Zero. So this is winnable, but it's very, very close. I think actually Penelope still has burst, right? Yeah, okay, Penelope, Penelope still has burst. Point. He's got a burst. He's got a burst. He's gonna win the game right now. Right now. Get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? So yeah, I, I, yeah, I have to give like extreme props to to Zero and Treasures team. They're using bursts like impeccably. That's basically like. Like, it just it, makes a difference. <laughs> it was yeah. it was like right then, I've hung back for 80, 95 percent this match, right? It's yeah. time to win. Yeah, exactly. That's that, that, that's kind of how like you know holding on to your burst should work because if you're holding burst, you're like I'm using it to win the game. I'm gonna use, and, then, and that's that just secured it. And he just sort of just it was just like a diarrhea of like all yeah. different types of beams and missiles, and that was just yeah, the end yeah. of it. To be honest, yeah. With the, S burst on Penelope is very powerful within the pack is always so like yeah like smooth play from both zero. Yeah, that was that was that was absolutely frightening because this as soon as, as soon as the burst went off, you're like right, okay, he's got the advantage, and then everything just came out, and you're like, yeah, yeah. how do you? And what is even worse is that he was uh, stuck in the air, so even if yeah. he blocked, he would have died anyway. Yeah. 
Because the, the, mi the missiles would have probably blown up. Because I don't know if you know this, but like missiles have a tendency to break block. Like they, because the explosion actually can curve around your block, basically. Mm. Cause... Oh, that's happened so to me quite a few times. Yeah. Oh, opening Garrow hit on Vale, so that's not good for Frenchies. Yeah. We're not actually sounding bad. They actually called their team Frenchies. Like, <laughs> just a, just as a small disclaimer. It looks like they're swapping it up again. Treasures is standing out in front. Like yeah, it look, I think I think I think I think they're just doing this to screw with the opponent like expectations on the match. Mm. Like it looks. Because the thing is, a Penelope back is so different to a Penelope forward from just those yeah. two games. Yeah. For sure. But they are on tournament point at the moment. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna get the interrupt? Ah, uh, yeah, we got we really nice cut, beautiful cut. He got punished for it though, but like getting the cut is still important because his partner got to stay in um, powered up mode as a result. If he took more damage, he would have lost it. Okay, mm. he's Penelope is out of Penelope is now in Odysseus mode, I believe. Yeah. So the game now the game is in in their favor. The <gasps> Whoa! Favor. Whoops! That was an accident. A uh, good dodge there by the bell meant that um, Xerox Garabi actually ended up um, okay. hitting his teammate. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Penelope is probably not going to like be able be able to like just hang back and get the second pack. Okay, he is gonna get it. But they're diving his partner. He's gonna get the cut. Oh yeah. no, he doesn't get the cut, and he gets punished. Okay, this is really big. Look, looks like looks like. Um... Oh boy, this is looking. Okay. Oh, Okigaro, okay, Okigaro, okay, I like it. Yeah, I don't oh think no. he got anything off it, unfortunately, though. Yeah, the, he, he, did, he did force him to play passive, because he pressed the button and when you wake up you would have died. You know, it's like a setup, um, basically. So. Okay, okay. Zerok is low, but I think he will get a burst if he dies. He bursted early enough and he has enough HP left, but even if they do get the kill on him, he will have another burst. So the game won't be won very cleanly. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, oh, really okay. Beautiful cut, beautiful cut for Veterans. Save his partner. No. This no. this might be up. This might be. He has to wait out Gunazaku's first. Now is he going to commit heavily for this? <gasps> no, Gunazaku. He interrupted his teammate. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, the super to kill. The super killed Zero though. Okay. Does Zero have burst? Oh, Zero yeah, does have burst. So Zero can win the game. Zero can win the game if he just like bursts and he dies it. He, he's probably gonna have to do it right now. Um, go Penelope's got burst as well. They're just gonna double burst to win the game. Then. I don't think this is tight, you know, because Penelope. Oh, no, Penelope, Penelope's overcosted. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, not not overcosted. Sorry, he was in the wrong mode to burst effectively. But yeah. Still got it. Double burst. Why else burst? <laughs> right. Congratulations. Give it up to our winners. Uh, Greg's uh, versus Two X. Keep your dignity. Finland has won the first. Well, has won the first battle. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I keep saying it, but like I can only say one more again. Like burst management was absolutely key to why they were consistently winning those those games. Like if you're if you're you know if you're wondering about how to improve this game, I can only say that like try to make sure that you get as many bursts as you can. You don't take damage in burst, and you you know you you try to make effective use of your burst because burst is one of the most critical key components to winning in this game. Mm, no, I definitely agree, and it definitely yeah. looks like. And the thing is, is that you can see by the management of the burst towards the last couple of games there mm -hmm. and you sort of think to yourself man this match is really even or is there's a chance that um that uh the exposed frenchies will win and then all of a sudden burst goes off um treasure instance penelope just goes absolutely ham and it's like well yeah i've been saving this for the last bit of the game this is my win condition mm -hmm. exactly. and because you've used all of your bursts you can't now escape out of this pressure you just now have to firm it and it becomes it and the thing is, it skews the matchup so much in their favor. There's not really anything you can really do other than block and hope your teammate is just able to delay the inevitable. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's so hard to do because everyone's so low in health. Everyone has low resources. Most people are running out of ammo and stuff. And it's really the sort of the real grind of the end game, which makes it really mm -hmm. difficult to come back from. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it, that's what, how the burst management works so well. Yeah, well, GG's to everyone and congrats to yes, we will be to we'll be putting the results up on Twitter and I will be I'll be doing the putting the video upload from Twitch to YouTube. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tournament. We'll be announcing the next one will be in about two weeks. 
so we will be announcing that probably Monday when um, I've got my timetable up and sorted. Um, I'll discuss every stuff with everybody in the chat to see what time is good for everybody or with most amount of people. But guys, please uh, give it up for uh, Greg's uh, Greg's versus uh, taking first, then exposed Frenchies coming second, and then the one and a half chimps coming third. Um, so, uh, Sarissa, do you have any final thoughts on that? Um, no, I think I, I think I got most 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 of it. Just thanks for thanks for having me. This was a this was a fun tournament. I'm I'm impressed with the level of play from from everybody towards the end and the adaptation throughout the tournament. So good stuff to everybody, guys. See, there you go. You heard it, guys. Everyone in chat. I hope you had fun. Please make sure. Uh, please stay good and stay safe. It's a tough world out there at the moment. So until then, we'll make sure you follow us on Twitter and YouTube and Twitch and all that sort of stuff if you like this sort of stuff. Um, and keep an eye on Twitter and Facebook to get, see the next time we'll have a tournament on for Gunniversa, which will be very soon. So make sure you guys check it out. Uh, I'm signing out. Make sure you uh, follow uh, our Twitter or go on Discord. Uh, Arissa, where can people find you at? Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm at Arissa underscore on Twitter. Ooh, there we go. I will be putting the information up on our the ending tweets and stuff. Sure. Uh, until then, guys, we will catch you later. Later.